Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24-hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television. Crosses over, back onto the far side. Rips the shot, she scores!
I'm Matt Kibbe, the current student body president here at Adrian College. I chose AC because the campus simply feels like home. Everywhere I go, I know the amenities are there to help me succeed and get to the next level in my career. If you want to see what Adrian College has to offer, you can schedule an in-person visit at adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Adrian College has dozens of athletics programs and winning is a staple on our campus. We have the culture of winning in and out of the classroom. This is a place where young men and women grow into professionals for life. Are you interested in learning more about the Bulldog experience? Visit adrianbulldogs.com and the Recruit Me tab to be recruited to play your sport of choice today. If you have what it takes, you could be a Bulldog in no time. Adrian College has once again been recognized for its commitment to engaged experiential education by Colleges of Distinction, a one-of-a-kind guide for college-bound students. While higher education has changed over the past 20 years, Colleges of Distinction's selection process has stayed consistent in accepting only those that adhere to the four distinctions, engaged students, great teaching, vibrant community, and successful outcomes. Overlaid in the last few years have been a look into high impact practices. They believe most critical to the student experience were the kinds of engaging experience that are found at Adrian College. To learn more, please visit adrian.edu. Welcome to Adrian, Michigan. We're located in a proud college town. Adrian College is situated just 45 minutes from Ann Arbor, Detroit, and Toledo. We're very excited to show you just a little bit of what AC has to offer. This is the gateway to our campus. Welcome to the place that we believe will change the rest of your life. AC features one of the most well-rounded educational experiences in the country. We offer over 60 different academic majors and 10 academic institutes as well as dozens of student organizations. Year after year, we've been ranked as one of the nation's best colleges, including being one of the most innovative institutions in the U.S. for our medical programs. Our campus is simply beautiful. Our student-to-faculty ratio is an incredible 13 to 1. That means more attention for you and a much better overall learning environment. We know how to put together an education that is life-changing. And these are just some of the highlights. From our communication arts program, to our many performing arts, to the home of business on campus, to our sciences and medical studies, we have the spaces where you can grow into the professional that you want to become. Our first year student experience is award winning. You'll make lifelong friends here, meet mentors, and maybe even meet that special someone. The Kane Student Center is open 24 hours a day and there's a lot going on here. The Bulldog Beanery has all of your hot drinks. Pause and Go is our on-campus convenience store. The bookstore is where you'll get all of your Bulldog gear and you can just hang out and study in the skyboxes. Not far away is the Shipman Library. The Shipman has quiet, relaxing spaces for you to study in. You can check out books from thousands of libraries around the country, and the Shipman is open 24 hours as well for your convenience. There are hundreds of learning opportunities on campus. In addition to the arts and beautiful facilities, Adrian College is known for its athletic programs. There is nothing like a Saturday game day here in Adrian. The Bulldog football team are 11-time MIAA champions. At Docking Stadium, fans watch soccer, lacrosse, football, and more. Just a few hundred yards away, Adrian College's basketball teams compete. In addition to basketball, fans can enjoy wrestling, acro and tumbling, and volleyball here. We also have a state-of-the-art weight room available to all of our students. When things heat up too much on campus, you can cool off with our ice sports. 
Our NCAA ice hockey teams are constantly battling in the national playoffs. Just a quick walk down the service drive, we feature one of the best baseball and softball programs in the nation at our level. Soon you'll be able to cross the street and watch men's and women's rugby take to the pitch as well. Our rowing, crew, and top-ranked bass fishing programs compete out of the Adrian College Boathouse, a gorgeous facility, just a 15-minute drive north on Devil's Lake. Our students know how to relax in their downtime. When they're not out and about, we have dozens of housing options on campus. With apartments right in the mix of things, you can pick what works best for you. We've also recently renovated a few of our housing options. Adrian College is a Methodist affiliated institution that has been changing lives since 1859. The modern liberal arts education offered by our faculty is unrivaled. We can't wait to have you on campus and show you around. Visit adrian.edu to schedule a full campus visit today. We'll see you soon. What if you didn't choose to become an Adrian College Bulldog? Surely you would have carried on with your education and could potentially be graduating elsewhere. But what would you have the honor of greeting Bruiser on campus? Would you have had the privilege of working alongside faculty that know your name? Would you have had the opportunity to learn and grow in an environment that is seeking the truth and dignity in all people? Would you have had a creative learning environment that is supportive of challenging you and achieving excellence in your academics, but also your personal and professional lives. This has been Adrian College's promise to us. Just as our families have promised to love us unconditionally and support us through the many peaks and valleys of our lives, Adrian offered a similar promise to us when they realized our potential by asking us to join them. While we have been busy navigating the many what ifs of our time, none of which we could have imagined, we have indeed found the cane that holds our ribbons of excellence at Adrian to stand strong. Strength and tradition. A tradition that carries on from graduating class to graduating class. A symbolic reminder of the leadership carrying the motto, no victory without work. The Adrian College class of 2021 can proudly proclaim that we have earned our ribbon of excellence for persevering through a pandemic because of our hard work. We have to, had to learn how to best navigate the many what ifs in uncharted times. While some of the what ifs have been answered, it is now up to each of us to embrace and navigate on our own. What if I take that job? What if I decide to continue on for postgraduate endeavors? What if I decide this? What if I decide that? No matter what, you'll be able to face your tomorrow knowing that you are a member of a pack, the Adrian College Bulldogs Class of 2021. Part of the family here at Adrian College are the friends we've made. These friends have gone to games with you, shared late night tales with you, explored downtown with you, and joked around with you at Ritchie. They are in the library with you at midnight, studying for the 8 a.m. exam you forgot to study for. And they're there when you cry because you failed that exam. These friends are your new family members now. You will stay in touch with them forever, even if it's just liking their Facebook posts about the new puppy they just got. Parents, family, and friends, we cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us. Thank you for the support, and the opportunity for this moment to graduate from Adrian College. You have helped us reach our dreams and goals in life. Congratulations, class of 2021. We finally made it. Adrian College has once again found itself on the 2022 U.S. News & World Report Best College Rankings. This is the eighth straight year that Adrian has been named to the top regional college's Midwest section. Adrian College was also named the most innovative school in the regional college's Midwest category. 
In addition, Adrian received accolades and best value in undergraduate teaching within regional colleges Midwest. Adrian College was also named in the top first year experiences by U.S. News and World Report. This marks the 13th consecutive year that Adrian has appeared in U.S. News and World Report. To see the full rankings, visit their website. For more information on Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. The Adrian College Media Production House provides opportunities for students to learn and grow live on the airwaves, just like Matt Kibbe. I've gotten a chance to create a relationship with coaches and teams and learn more from people instead of trying to teach myself something. I've gotten an opportunity to expand my knowledge of sports, hone in on my skills as a broadcaster, and learn about equipment in different ways. You get, a, you get more of a connection with professors as well. Providing opportunities, growing leadership. The Adrian College Media Production House. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Dejan Hughes and I'm a senior in the class of 2021. My name is Megan Abbey. I'm from the class of 2021. Hi, my name is Caitlin Parisi and I'm the class of 2021. Wow, um, as far as working for ACTV, the first thing that comes to mind is honestly the community. Like the people that I work with are amazing, all the way down from Jay at the top to the last guy that only gets to work one stream a week. It's just the energy that is around is always awesome. It's a perk that you get free access to the games, um, but I absolutely love it. We have a great culture here and then I was able to work my way up to a student director position, but I get so much creative freedom. I get to work in arenas and sports and environments that I absolutely love and enjoy. ACTV has brought so many experiences and memories that I'll take with me to grad school and even beyond. Um, it's been such a blessing to be a part of the team and everyone's just so welcoming and I've learned so much directing and using the camera and many other things. If you do want to get into this stuff, I say do it and do it quickly with ACTV because not only is it a great community, but you'll also learn a lot and be prepared for the future. I think what I'm going to miss most about ACTV that's not the um, free software that I get as a student um, would definitely be the people and the culture that we have here. Um, just the connections that I've made, the students that we have, um, just the family that we have here, I'm definitely going to miss everyone a lot. I'm going to miss everyone, I think. Um, everyone's just been so great. I love the atmosphere. Um, it's definitely another family away from home. Um, I think directing is going to be something I miss, uh, but just interacting with everyone during our meetings um, on Tuesdays and uh, just the atmosphere, I think, is going to be the biggest thing. DJ, Megan, Caitlin, I know I told you this is going to be a promo about ACTV. Well, it's actually a promo about you guys. Your leadership as seniors has helped me guide the program since taking over at the beginning of January. I would not have been able to do it without you three. Now, I know your time is done with ACTV at the end of the semester, but I know you're going to do so many great things in your future endeavors. I wish you the best of luck. Adrian College is looking for leaders, student athletes with the tenacity to keep the Bulldogs at the top, the forefront, in and out of the classroom. The Bulldogs are looking for talent, character, hard work, grit, leaders who can electrify sold out crowds, got out a last line shift, will their team to victory, hit a grand slam in the bottom of the ninth and be a part of a legend in the making. Think you have what it takes to become a Bulldog? Visit adrian.edu to learn more. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media.
Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Docking Family Stadium on the campus of Adrian College. It's senior day between the Bulldogs and the Olivet College Comets. Ian Wendt, Jay Hanna up here in the booth with you. Senior day festivities all down on the field, football field, football team, dance team, marching band, cheerleaders, all recognized here for senior day. The matchup on the field, a four and four Adrian College Bulldog team and a five and three Olivet College team. Uh, the Comets come in with a two and three league mark Bulldogs at two and two. A lot to be played for though, Jay, as uh, we look at the matchup. Yeah, and I heard Coach Deer yesterday in practice talking about we still have some stuff to play for. Obviously, you know, you need a lot to happen to somehow play for the league, but this is a good matchup. We, we had the opportunity of seeing these two teams play in the spring. It was easily the best game of the spring. Adrian mm -hmm. made a big comeback against Olivet in the second half to get that victory, and you know they're going to want to start a lot faster today. Absolutely, and a great way to start fast is with your quarterback, uh, Jack Werzer, in his senior season at the helm of Adrian College. He's the all-time leader in passing yards, completions, attempts, and touchdowns for Adrian College uh, as a passer. So uh, might be his last home game. We'll see about the, the extra year of eligibility due to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. But um, certainly a great career for Jack and the, the senior class that's being honored today. That's it? That's all the records he has at quarterback? All of them? Yeah. <laughs> The, all of the ones you could <laughs> get. It, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be tough to replace Jack Wurzer for sure. But they're going to have fun today. They're going to go out to Kalamazoo next week and everything. You know, it's going to be about a celebration of these seniors because they have had a lot of success. It's been up and down um, this year. Getting the win over Albion, I think, is the icing on top of the cake. And so now these last couple games, you're just playing for pride, playing to, to get better and get some of these new guys some, some experience for another successful year next year. Absolutely, Adrian College in this contest, four and four. They started the year 0-2, two, two non-conference games against teams that were either ranked or receiving votes in Division Three football in Heidelberg and Hanover. Then we come back home for homecoming. They get a win over Greenville. That was 41-28. to Then we go up to Finlandia, pick up a 56-6 victory there. That pushed the record to two and two. Then the conference play started. We went to Trine. It was a rainy day in Angola. On, on the short end of a 36-20 score, uh, but they bounced back nicely, as you mentioned, a win over Albion here at home, 21-7 that final. They back it up by a convincing win over the Alma College Scots, 36-21 here at Docking Stadium. Uh, but two weeks ago, their last game they played was at Hope, and that was a, a devastating 19-7 loss. So it was a close contest throughout, a uh, rainy, cold day over in Holland, but uh, tightly contested football game, and that's where Adrian sits at a 4-4 four and four mark. Yeah, and um, Olivet actually gets to go to Finlandia, or I think they host Finlandia next week as well, so I'm sure they'll get to see some tape. If we talk about these two teams in comparison, both of these guys have um, similar matchups. Adrian um, took care of Alma, um, and uh, so did Olivet. Both teams lost to Trine. Both teams lost to Hope. The only difference, I guess, would be that uh, Adrian beat Albion, and uh, Olivet fell, fell to Albion by 21, I believe, was the final score. So, um, like I said, that Albion game, definitely the peak for Adrian's season so far, so they're going to look to get up to a hot start like they did there uh, against Albion here on this on the same field, and, uh, yeah, just try to roll to a victory today. One of the leaders of the offensive side of the football, one of the seniors uh, that will be playing in the last home game today, it's Stephen Moses. And uh, two years ago, he was asked to uh, carry the football for Coach Deer, Coach Bailey on the offense, and he has impressed. This year, he has gained 961 yards. He's net averaged 5.9 yards a carry. He's got seven touchdowns this year. He's been a difference in the Bulldog backfield. No, I think that should be goal number one today, get him those 39 yards or 31 yards and um, get him over 1,000. I mean, there's so much you can say about that man. Um, he is a man um, out there on the field, um, off the field. But on the field, he is a tough runner, and he has really given this offense a dynamic look that allows Jack Worser to have success. Without Stephen Moses out on that field, um, you know, they play the pass a lot more. Um, and, uh, yeah, Worser just simply really gives these guys – multiple things to play against on defense. 
averaging 117 yards per game for Steven Moses. And we look at Jack Werzer, completion percentage, not ideal. He's just below 54%. He has thrown for over 1,300 yards, 11 scores, a long of 79, averages a buck 66 per game for Jack Werzer. He's thrown uh, eight interceptions on the season, so uh, missed opportunities. Those really happened early on. Uh, in the campaign through the conference schedule he's been playing solid football yeah he's re been really good these last couple games unfortunately obviously at hope a couple miss uh, unfortunate incidents like we we thought he had a quarterback sneak touchdown there down by the goal line um and and obviously the weather was not going to hope as well i think that adrian wins that game at least half the time that they're at they were at hope that was one of those that just kind of got away from him so you know he wants to play well these last two games and finish his senior season with a winning record that's what the Bulldogs have in front of them two wins. They finish six and four. One win, they go 500. So, um, you know, I don't ever say don't look ahead at Kalamazoo or anything like that, but just get through today and, and have a fun final game next week. Teams projected preseason by the coaches to finish five and six in the league. Adrian five, Olivet six. So on paper, preseason should be a close one, but we're on the tail end of what's been a really tough competitive MIAA season. Now, Wurzer's put up a ton of yards. We know that. He's thrown quite a few touchdown passes. His leading target, Preston Smith, 33 catches. Averages 16 yards of reception, good for 528 yards. Three scores on the season. He's really come into his own this year. Yeah, really his com coming out party. I can't, was it Albion or Alma, the coming out party? I think it was Albion. Um, and, uh, you know, he had a lot of success. They, they He talked a little bit at a halftime interview about, um, you know, them single covering him and stuff like that. But uh, Hope did a much better job on him last week, so you know that they're going to um, be playing him tough, which expect, you know, a guy like Poyer or Palace or someone like that to really step up and, and make some plays today. Preston Smith with three touchdown receptions, actually leading the team is Gage Palace. He has four for Coach Deer and his Bulldogs. You see the Adrian College Bulldog marching band out there playing the alma mater here at AC. We'll look at some of the uh, defensive stats after this we'll take a break bulldogs and comets coming up in just a moment here on your home for bulldog football the adrian college sports network Third. adrian college television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor carlton lodge of adrian carlton lodge is sponsoring all ac tv broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24-hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television. College Television has the pleasure of airing all Adrian College football games this 2021 football season. And along for the ride are these wonderful sponsors, including the Adrian College Bookstore, Gurgin Insurance Agency, Carlton Lodge, and sponsoring each week's player of the game, Hungry Howie's Pizza. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of each broadcast to see who was named Hungry Howie's Player of the Game. Continue to take pride and learn from Asim Han's leadership today. And the slam! 161 years of commitment to harnessing the power of creativity, ingenuity, community, and academic excellence. I believe that if you get your degree here, the world is going to feel like it's shrinking. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. 
Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Hello and welcome back to Docking Family Stadium, the home of Bulldog football, where Adrian College is set to go against the Olivet College Comets. A decent drive down 127 to get over here to Adrian for the Comets. They come in with a 5-3 record, Bulldogs 4-4, four four, as Bruiser 2 is having fun pregame, as he always does, makes his appearance here at the football games and at uh, some hockey games as well for Bruiser 2. Uh, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Bruiser <laughs> the second. Hannah. Bruiser the second, Bruiser 2. He's got a 2 on his jersey. Yeah. You, you were a, right. It's a fun no, atmosphere, You are right. I just kind of, Bruiser the second is kind of like More proper. official yeah. sounding. <laughs> But anyway, I know what you were going to say, and I just completely threw you off. It is a great atmosphere for football. Uh, it's warming up as well. We're in like the 50s now, I think. It's not too bad, and the sun shines out, and, you know, Adrian's ready to play some football. That they are. And uh, looking at, uh, we looked at some offensive numbers and need to give some love to the defense as well as they're led by their linebacker, number 42, Kyle Minder. He has 62 tackles on this season, one interception, a pass breakup. A uh, few QB hits as well. Uh, Kyle Minder's been a force in the middle for this Bulldog defense. Also on the back end of uh, the coverage is Brandon Kwiatkowski, one of those seniors that will be dearly missed uh, for Coach Deer, Coach Tayala, and the defense. He had 59 tackles coming into this game for the Bulldogs. The two leading tacklers there right in the middle, Minder and Kwiatkowski. And uh, you look on that defensive end slot, that's DeAndre Jennings. He has 41 tackles on the season from a defensive end spot. And this is really, Jay, a defense that's really lived up to the expectation of this program is to be a solid defense that keeps your offense in football games. And I think they've done that throughout the conference schedule. Yeah, if you want to talk to offense, you talk to Coach Bailey. But the, the defensive uh, setup is, is Coach Deer. And Coach Deer is a defense-minded uh, coach. When they have a good defense, you know they're going to be in every game that they play, which they have been so far this season outside of week one. And, uh, yeah, I, I got to expect that that defensive front with Jennings, um, with Wiseman, are, are going to be tough to, to play against today. And um, you know that they're going to try to keep Olivet below that. I think if they keep it below that 20 mark, um, they're going to be sitting pretty good today. Coin toss taking place. Adrian won the toss. They deferred to the second half. That means the Comets offense will – get the football first. They'll have their senior quarterback, David Coffey, in the backfield. And Cortavion Barnett at tailback for Olivet, a team that historically can score a lot of points. As you mentioned, Jay, that 20-point mark, it, it might be whichever team can get there first uh, could be victorious in this one. But when it's Olivet and Adrian, it's typically a classic over the years. Oh, for sure. Like I said many times here, the spring game was something else. And um, they really went back and forth before Adrian made a big push at the end of that game to win that that game. It was probably the most fun game we did in the spring and um, expect another fun one today. Kickoff moments away. We'll pause 10 seconds for our affiliates to identify themselves. You're listening to Bulldog Football on the Adrian College Sports Network. Listening to the presentation of Bulldog Football on ACTV and WVAC Adrian 107.9 FM, an Adrian College Media House production. Adrian won the toss. They deferred to the second half. That means Walker Evans put the ball on the tee and get things underway. It's a sunny, rather relatively warm day here in Adrian, Michigan at the start of November. Not used to this weather, but hey, I'll take it. Bulldogs looking to improve their conference mark to three and two. Olivet trying to up their mark to three and three in league play. Adrian kicks off from left to right. As the sun shines down on Docking Stadium, a slight breeze out of the south-southwest here in Adrian. Not too bad as we're going to have some warm weather throughout this weekend and into next week. Welcome site for college football on a Saturday. Evans, the run-up and the kick. It's a short squibber. It's going to be fair caught by the Comets at the 32-yard line. And we'll see the Bulldog defense out there first, anchored really up the middle by those two I mentioned earlier, Kyle Minder at linebacker, 42, and number six, Brandon Kwiatkowski at the back end of this uh, Bulldog defense. Yeah, and uh, Kwiatkowski's name will say a lot today, makes a lot of tackles. Um, Kyle Minder just so good inside. And, uh, yeah, 
They're, this is a big possession right off the bat. You expect the Adrian defense to try to make a statement early and force a three and out. First play from scrimmage for the Comets on offense. They start with three wide receivers. Coffee in at quarterback. From the gun, he takes. Looks right side right away. No one there. He's going to scramble for it. Gets a block up to the 35, 38 yard line. Near the 40, he's pushed out of bounds by the Bulldog, a linebacker on the far sideline. Second and short upcoming for the Comets on the tackle for Adrian College. Looked to be uh, number 44, and that's the linebacker who had a good game up in Hope. It was Andrew Nummer making the play as we look at the starting lineup for the Comets on offense. Yeah, David Coffey leading the way, the senior at quarterback, also Cortavian Barnett at running back, Seth Young at tight end. Then starting receivers, Broussard, Benjamin, and Pagano looking to have uh, a good start as actually Adrian getting called for a defensive holding on the first play. So on the scramble by Coffey, they get Jimmery Cannon with the holding out on the edge. And that'll move the ball up for a Comet first down, so they mark it 10 yards from the spot, moves it all the way up to the top of Bruiser's head down on Kaepernick Field, right at the 49-yard line. So the Comets pick up a first down here in their first possession of the football game. They're in the pistol with Coffee. Takes, gives, a stretch play, the left cuts it back in the middle. Wide open spaces for the Comet tailback. It's to the 35-30, he is gone. House call for the Comets. And that is Cortavion Barnett going 51 yards for the score. Six nothing Comets early first quarter. And what a nice cut by Barnett to split the two Adrian defenders about 10 yard, 15 yards downfield to show the burners down the stretch. And perfect start for Olivet. Got the one penalty on Adrian and then the, you know, the long run right there. Looks like it was about 51 yards for the touchdown. So two offensive snaps for the Comets. They have six points early. And it just parted right at the middle. Kwiatkowski could not make a diving tackle. Comets in for the extra point. Snap, hold, and the kick. They all look good. That's because they are. It's 7-0. Olivet will take a 30-second timeout. Bulldog football when we return right here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Tavion Barnett, 51 yards for the touchdown run, and the Comets have a 7-0 lead on their opening possession here at Docking Stadium. Ian Wendt, Jay Hanna bringing you Bulldog football on ACSN. However you're viewing or listening to the broadcast, we appreciate it. It's the final home game for the Dogs. It's senior day. Comets kicking in to the sun. This is Samuel Ruse, run up and the kick away. It's a low line driver. Hits a Bulldog at the 25, he'll fall right on it at about the 27. So that's where we see this Adrian College offense who coming into this season, we sort of knew what we were gonna get from them. And in some games, if we're being honest, they just couldn't get the job done. And, and talking to Coach Deer during the, the bye week, execution was a big issue for the offense and uh, several turnovers, missed opportunities in that Hope game two weeks ago. We'll see what they do here today as they have the football first and 10 at their 28 yard line at the right hash. Yeah, we'll see We'll see what Jack Wurzer's got to go here. And I believe our sideline reporter, Bre Brett Carlisle, will have an update after this play. Senior from Pinckney takes the snap, it's a give. This is Malik Ray gets the carry. The senior from Hudson, Michigan goes over right tackle behind Brendan Clark. Gets a pretty good gain for a second and short. Send it down to Brett for a quick update. These guys and the energy down here at Docking Stadium is great. The players are hyped up and definitely great down here. It's a chilly day, but definitely energy is high down here. The players down here, all of that is also high. Second and short, it's going to be a give again to Ray. They try the right side. Nothing doing. The Comets swarm and drop him for a loss of four on the play, all the way back to the Adrian 29. As we'll hear from uh, Brett Carlisle throughout this broadcast, as 
we jiggle around some wires. <laughs> yeah, Brett, um, like Brett was saying, though, the atmosphere is great. Obviously, that run took a little bit of the wind out of the sails of the crowd, but um, big third down coming up here for Jack Werzer in the offense. Passing situation for the all-time leading passer in Adrian College Bulldog history, Jack Werzer. 7-0 Comets from his own 29. Werzer takes, looks left all the way, he throws that way. It's going to be a catch by the senior, Donald Scott. Can't break a tackle at the 35. This will set up a fourth and two actually at the 36-yard line. So decision time, and there's really no decision for the Bulldog offense as they trade places with the special teams unit as we highlight the Adrian College starting lineup on offense. Yeah, obviously Jack Werzer leading the way for that offense. Um, running back's going to be Stephen Moses leading the way and uh, a big, strong wide, wide receiver core and experienced wide receiving core for the Bulldogs. Austin Banky, the senior, back to receive this snap. It's a good one. Right foot is a wow. spiraling, a line driver, but wow. this will be a great roll for the Bulldogs. Inside the 15 and rest down at the 10 yard line. That's where Kenny Kuyawa touches it up. So it didn't look great, but you'll take the result as the senior punter who averages just under 40 yards a punt. Got away a good one there. Man, that, you say it didn't look great, but it had a perfect spiral. It was really low and that allowed it to get some bounces and man, they're gonna miss Banky after this year. Yeah, it was like a Wurzer pass. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Somewhat for for Austin Banky, but yeah, I mean, just seniors up and down this lineup on offense, defense, and special teams as it's certainly emotional in this one. Uh, the conference championship sort of out of reach, but you're playing for pride for both of these programs. Olivet football, first and 10, they have 90 yards to go. Leading by seven, they motion the tight end across the formation to the right. Coffee takes, gives. Barnett, right tackle, give him one, maybe two on the carry. And it's a second down, they call it eight, up to their, about the 13 yard line. Defensive line featuring DeAndre Jennings and Justin Wiseman, a couple of seniors as well. And again, it's really a different dynamic, Jay, as you know, we don't know if these seniors are playing their last game because you do have that COVID year option for next year, but it's really different between Division Three and Division Two and One. We'll talk about that later. Second and eight for the Comets. Coffee in the pistol. Barnett right behind him. Takes, gives, left side. Good blocking for the Comets, but closed in nicely. That's Brandon Kwiatkowski as the initial hole was there, and uh, Barnett picked up about five on the second down carry. Yeah, really good job by Kwiatkowski to fill there and force a third down opportunity. The, the offensive line for, for all of that doing a great job creating holes up front right now. Yeah, football fans really see the, the hole the offensive line opens up, but as you mentioned, uh, Kwiatkowski sees that as well, so he thinks, oh, that's where the ball's going. Nice read by the Bulldog safety. It's a third down and a short four for the Comets. At their own 18, they need the Bulldog 21. Coffee takes, rolls right, throws middle, it's caught. First down, Comets over the 25. That's their speedy wide receiver making that reception. Number 13, Akeem Benjamin. And the Comets move the sticks first and 10. Yeah, Kyle Minder just about got a paw on that one. As uh, we, If you're watching on YouTube, you can see he got a hand up there. But, yeah, just uh, unfortunate um, or a good job covering the tight end in the flats, I should say, just – let the guy, uh, the receiver, get loose just behind. First and 10, Olivet with a 7-0 lead in this football game early first quarter at their own 26. We've yet to play five minutes of game time. Coffee in the pistol. It's a power run formation. They do give it off to Barnett. Cuts back left side. Bulldogs trip him up. Kyle Minder and Wiseman in on the play for AC. He's dropped to the 29. Give him six. Rather, give him three. <laughs> for a second and seven. Half of it. Uh, Half but, of that. But, uh, yeah, he's showing some serious speed out there at the running back spot, and uh, Bulldog's going to have to make sure they corral him early and not let him get in the open field. Yeah, Coach Deer said that this running back might be the best they've seen all year, and they've seen some really good ones in Division Three. Barnett already with a 51-yard touchdown rush. It's a second and seven for the Comets. Coffee fakes to Barnett. Throws deep right side. Throws into coverage. It's intercepted. Bulldogs pick him off. It's an Adrian College football returning it into the Comets territory. 
and that is Jimmery Cannon. He had two against Hope. He's got one here. The no-fly zone alive here at Docking Stadium. Yeah, he, he just always in the right spot. That was a very underthrown ball and uh, good coverage by the Bulldogs. And now Adrian going to be sitting pretty and try to get that offense rolling after a first three and out. I mean, Coach Deer just raves about his young corners and just how physical they can be, just how smart they are. Back in coverage, Tyrell Diener, Bryce Tallis, and Jimmery Cannon out there who really showed up early on in the season. He was not listed as a starter, number 29, but he's made an impact on this Bulldog defense. He stepped out of bounds back at the Bulldog 44, they say. Here's Werzer with a snap. Feels the pressure, throws it up top to Smith, goes up and caught that football. Ooh. Nice grab by Smith, but Sorry. always out of bounds. Would have been at the Comet 39-yard line, but Preston couldn't get a foot down, second and 10. Yeah, really nice pass on the outside to where only Smith could catch it. Great footwork, just, just a little bit outside. And, uh, yeah, second and long is not something where the Bulldogs want to be all day today, though. No, they do not. But really good field position off the Olivet turnover. Three wide receivers bunch up tight to the right. Palace, Smith, and Kuiawa. No one out to the left except the tight end tight to the line. Werzer takes, fakes to Moses. Screen pass to Gage Palace. Looking for a block. He's got it inside Comet territory at the 46-yard line. That should be enough for a Bulldog first down as Smith and Kiawa put some blocks on out on the edge. That was one where Smith held on just long enough to block him and, and allow Palace get by. May have even gotten away with a mini hold. I want to see it again on the replay here as, yeah, maybe not. Close. But, yeah, it was, a, it was a good block and allowed him to get free for a first down that maybe looked like it didn't wasn't developing anything at the beginning. First first down of the game for the Bulldog offense. It's a run for Steven Moses. Look at Moses run. It's a first down, Adrian, inside the Comet 35. What a burst from Steven Moses. We've seen that over the years from him and a great run on first and 10. Yeah, the big boy showing some speed on that run. Made a nice cut. He, he um, saw on the other side of the ball, Barnett showing off his speed. He's <laughs> like, well, I can do that too. And it's just a really nice run up the middle. And, uh, yeah, the Bulldogs are looking good now after that turnover. The offensive line really fired off the ball on that one. First and 10 at the Comet, 32, trailing 7 nothing here, just under 9 to go in the first. Comet show pressure. It's a run to Moses, and they get to him. Wow, dropped in the backfield for a big loss. About four yards dropped on that carry as the Comets swarm the Bulldog offensive line there. Yeah, I think the Comets were expecting run there. Uh, <laughs> they, they played that. There was probably seven people in the backfield, and, um, yeah, setting the Bulldogs up second and about 14. Working here from the left hash mark. Where's her in the shotgun? We see Jimmy Clark at tailback now. Three out wide for Werzer. Gets the snap from fellow senior Ben Pelletier. Takes, steps up in the pocket, and he gets swarmed under. Back near the 45. Comets get pressure, number 20, and on that play for Olivet, Alonzo Grig Grigsby, excuse me, the senior linebacker from Cass Tech made a play. Yeah, I think that was Braden Van Orden, the backup center that's in the left tackle spot, or uh, unless he's... Yeah, he's at the left tackle spot, and he gave up that, that blitz right there. And uh, so Bulldogs playing without, it looks like, uh, Jack Cecilia on the outside right now maybe, unless they moved him elsewhere. I can't quite see down there. They've moved him in at guard at some points in the season. It's a third and forever, third and 23. Werzer takes, sends up a prayer over the middle. It's caught by Kenny Kuyawa down to the Comet, 30, 25. He took a big hit. And the officials say incomplete instead. The Comets picked it up, thought they had a turnover, but instead it's a fourth down and 23, and the Bulldogs will punt. Yeah, that's a disappointing end to that drive. Great throw from Werzer to Kiawa. Just unable to hold on to it. A big-time hit in the secondary by Olivet. And, yeah, so unfortunately uh, Adrian's going to have to punt, but at least that turnover changes the field position a little bit. Olivet was starting to drive maybe a little bit, and, uh, yeah, the Bulldogs got to, be able to pin him deep here as on a good banky punt. So we see Wurzer stepping up. Just a huge yeah. hit. Kenny couldn't really haul in that football. I think that was a good call, too, on the incomplete pass. He, he didn't make a football move. Banky takes the snap at his own 39. Austin gets it away. It's another high spiraling punt. Look at this thing. Fair caught inside the Comet 15 at around the 13. So that's where Coffee and the offense get their third drive going. They scored on their first aided by penalty and then a 51-yard touchdown run for Barnett. Second drive 
was a interception. Here they go for their third. Yeah, Adrian's defense is, is struggling just a bit on first and second down runs, as we saw the big giant run there from uh, Barnett for the touchdown. Um, they're just getting too many yards on first and second down, leading to thirds and short. So look for the Adrian defense to maybe be a little bit more aggressive early. Coffey one for two with that interception. Barnett, four carries, 62 yards. So get another one here. Bottled up by that Bulldog front, Justin Wiseman. Cleans up the mess. Good job by that interior line for Adrian College to stuff the run on first and 10. Kyle Minder down there, as well as 95, Seth Gallagher. Yeah, great job by the defense. Set up second and long, and that's going to be the story of the day. Adrian's already had a bunch of second and longs and making them play behind the chains. Coffey works from the shotgun, second and nine. It's a sprint out to the right, throws quickly, and it's caught out there on the sideline looking for a first down. It's going to be just short, I believe, as Deontay Higgins makes the reception. The sophomore gets it towards the sticks. They're going to move him. And they're going to say first down. Yeah, good job straight on the sideline. And it seems like early here, Alavette's really trying to get Coffee out on that right side and, and just kind of leak a tight end or receiver uh, going with him. And it, it's worked out so far for their offense. First and 10 Comets, they operate at their 23 and a half yard line. First and 10. Coffee in the shotgun, motions the tight end. Takes, he rolls to the left this time. Coffee looking, no one there, tries to run. He's tackled after picking up a couple yards. Kyle Minder, Sam Madrid make the play for the black and gold, second down and medium. Yeah, I was just about to say, that was perfectly played by Sam Madrid right there. Sam Madrid kept him inside and forced him into the uh, the arms of Kyle Minder uh, to make it just a four yard gain where it looked like maybe it could have been a, a first down run even. Second and they call it five. Just under six minutes to go, first quarter. Adrian trails here at home, seven nothing. Comets with the football. At about their own 29, Coffey in the pistol, Barnett behind him, motions the tight end across the formation into the backfield. He'll go in to block for Barnett. Wiseman forces him to cut back, but no one there to receive that tackle opportunity, and Barnett gets ahead for about seven yards in a Comet first down, and boy, Jim Deere was not lying when he said that Barnett is probably the best tailback they've seen this year. He is just so shifty, and you know, you, you cover up the initial hole, and he gets that cutback lane, similar to you know one Kenneth Walker III up at Michigan State. Yeah, just very shifty in space. That's why it's so important to make contact right as close to the line of scrimmage as possible. First and 10, Comet football at their own 36. Coffee and the pistol. Running back behind him, it's Barnett. Gets the carry up the middle. Bulldogs make a tackle as I believe Randall Broom at the bottom of the pile. Or was it 91, Ryan Moose it was. The freshman. Six foot, 225, he plays a lot bigger than that in that interior. That's what you like to see though right there is uh, freshman getting in there, making contact, forcing the second down and seven coming up here and um, more than likely maybe a passing situation for Olivet right here. Second and seven, under four and a half to play, first quarter, 7-0 Comets. Coffee in the pistol, Barnett behind him. Takes a snap, it's a broken play. He's gonna run straight to the left and Barnett will get wrapped up and sent to the turf by DeAndre Jennings. It's a third down up coming for the Comets. They need about three. Yeah, that was gonna be a play where they're either gonna run it or roll out to the right side. And because the snap came outside on the opposite side, a good job by Coffey just to make something happen. Everyone ran to the right and Coffey went back to the left. Third down now for the Bulldog defense. Can they get off the field? Coffey takes, he's gonna roll right, throw that way, it's gonna be caught. And around the 45, did he stretch over that line to gain, Jay? He's really close. I think they're And this season, if you're close, you're getting a first down in conference play. I don't know about that. Yeah, he kind of slid out. He must have stretched the ball out of bounds there. And looked good like job. His, yeah, it looked like his foot was out at the 45, but it's where the ball is. Yep, exactly. And uh, the Bulldogs played that really well, too. They just didn't have anybody covering the flats. They did a good job pressuring the quarterback. and. Yeah, 
A good first down conversion for the Comets. By the nose of the football. It's first and 10, Olivet at the 46. Coffey looking right all the way. Throws, he's got a man. Can he connect? He can. It's Barnett. He's going to go to the house, but we'll check the flag. Olivet scores on the paper. It's a 54-yard touchdown pass. We'll see the call. Something happened where he got wide open, and I'm not one. And it looks like it's going to be a touchdown. The Comet bench and coaching staff and fans that travel down here fired up. Maybe defensive holding. I'm going to watch the replay here. But Barnett was able to get freed on the right sideline, and the Bulldogs left in the dust behind the speedy Barnett. He's got two scores of 50-plus yards in this first quarter. Yeah, now that this is looking eerily similar to the uh, yeah, defensive holding. It must have been uh, when the ball, before the ball was in the air, someone got a hold of him. But um, this is looking eerily similar to the spring game uh, where the Bulldogs had to make a big come from behind victory. Yeah, it says a lot when you can get held on a pass play and still go catch that football. Well, and really still be 15 yards ahead of anybody else too. Yes, exactly. So Barnett scores a 54-yard touchdown reception. Samuel Roos in for the extra point, the junior. Puts foot to leather, he sails it between the goalposts. We have a 14-0 lead for the Comets, and that big play offense has shown up early. Bulldogs look to answer. We'll be back in 30 seconds here on the Adrian College Sports Network. If there was one word I was going to use to describe the communication arts program at Adrian College, it would be unique. Students find themselves on the radio, in front of and behind the camera, and directing their own programs. Students learn in a personalized environment that sets them up for world of opportunities. Are you ready for your moment in the limelight? Learn more about the Rush Communications Center and Adrian College's communications program by visiting adrian.edu today. Welcome back to Docking Family Stadium. Olivet has dug a hole and the Bulldogs are falling in it. It's 14-0 Comets. Here with 3.09 to go in the first quarter, Ian Went, Jay Hanna bringing you Bulldog football. Week nine edition, and Adrian needs an answer, and they need it right now. Yeah, a long kickoff return would certainly help. Roos walks up, kicks deep. That's a high spiraling kick, fieldable for the Adrian return man. He'll do just that up to the left side. It's Jimmy Clark, he gets up over the 30, and we'll see where they mark it, about the 31 yard line. That was a pretty good return. Yeah, uh, good job by Jimmy Clark absorbing some, absorbing some contact and uh, moving the ball forward. And offense just has to string together a few consecutive good plays. They've had some bright spots and uh, just haven't been able to convert in a row to, to get some first downs. They do have a first down here, first and 10 at the 31-yard line. 3.02 to go. Down 14 nothing. We'll see what this offense can do. They have two wide receivers out wide to the left, one to the right. Smith alone at the bottom. Werzer takes, gives Moses, goes right up the middle, drives a couple people with him, and the Moses run, and that's about three yards. Yeah, Stephen Moses is going to be a guy that's going to have to get going here pretty soon uh, if the Bulldogs want to have some success. We are approaching the end of the first quarter, about two and a half to go, and uh, just really, like I said, just not a whole lot of consecutive good plays. We saw the one good run from Moses. We've seen some good throws from Werzer, but they have to string it together to get some first downs. Execution was the name of the game two weeks ago in Holland in that 19-7 heartbreaker. Here's Werzer. He'll throw that screen pass. Palace goes up and catches it, gets a couple blocks, and that's an Adrian College first down over on that left side of the Bulldog offense as Palace has been utilized a couple times on those screen plays. <laughs> it's so funny that you said that about the, they're not going to check the, the measurement at all because that was really close <laughs> and they just went ahead and they moved yeah, the sticks. Yeah, good. Um, but yeah, that screen play has been there for 10, 12 yards each time and a uh, great job by the receivers blocking on the outside. We've had one measurement in conference play and Bulldog fans remember that was down in Trine. Here's the first and 10 run for Moses. Goes over the left side, slips a tackle and moves ahead for around four yards. And that was a fourth down measurement situation back in trying sort of shifted momentum in yeah, that contest. It really did. That was a disappointing game for the Bulldogs. I'm sure if you asked any player that they really thought that they could win that game. That they think they can win any game, um, maybe outside of week one. But um, they just, the offense sometimes just sputters. And 
that's what you worry about in a situation like this when they get down 14 nothing early. Second down and six for Werzer on the offense. Olivet brings pressure, Jack throws out, caught by Poyer, up over the 50. That is an Adrian College first down for Tyler Poyer, reliable tight end out there, number 85. Werzer used those wheels to get out of the pocket. Yeah, he saw uh, coming around the backside there, it looked like I believe it was number eight, uh, John Thompson chasing after him. And he saw some speed, he wanted to get rid of that ball as quick as he could. So Adrian putting a couple plays together. The screen pass to Palace, and now the first down reception for Tyler Poyer. Werzer's four of six today, 25 yards prior to that pass. Werzer in the gun. Malik Ray to his right, first and 10 at the Olivet 47. Comets show three, pressure. Give to Malik Ray, he slips a tackle initially, gets moved ahead a couple yards for a first down, and Olivet's really able to get in that Bulldog backfield, Jay, relatively quickly, so it'll be up to these running backs to make moves maybe in their own backfield. Yeah, and I've been seeing a lot of positive things out of Malik Ray so far. He's kind of been limited on carries the last few weeks, but he's a strong runner, another converted linebacker, and uh, he shows why he was so good in high school. Yeah, Adrian doesn't have to recruit running backs. Just recruit linebackers. It's a fake to Ray. Werzer throws right side, looks deep, and it's skipped in there to Donald Scott. He can't grab that one. A little low for the senior, but if you're going to miss, that's a good spot to miss. You're 100% correct. It was a good spot to miss. I think Werzer wants that throw back because he was open. Werzer didn't quite have his feet set there. Good route from Donald Scott, though, on the outside. Just 12 rushing yards for the Adrian College offense. Werzer has 33 through the air. Bulldogs staring at a third and five, final 10 seconds of this first quarter, trailing 14-0. They have three wide receivers left. Tight end tight to the right. Olivet shows pressure off the edge. It'll be a run. Ray looking for space. He's going to be a yard short as he dove forward and a solid tackle by the Comets, number four. That's the linebacker, Andrew Campbell, the senior. Stops Malik Ray about a yard short, fourth down clock running that should expire the first quarter yeah that's a play call where you know you're going for it on fourth down absolutely and, uh, so you got fourth and one coming up uh, at the start of the second quarter gigantic play for the adrian college offense it really is 14 nothing adrian in the hole here through one quarter of play second quarter 30 seconds away here on the adrian college sports network adrian college is a pinpoint like no other with our 77 undergraduate degrees 47 majors and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. We welcome you back. Second quarter action here on the Adrian College Sports Network as we get a camera shot of ACTV's own and an Adrian College senior, Bailey Merzik. And WLEN's own. Yeah, intern over at WLEN yeah, doing some news reporting for me over there. Yeah, doing Bailey, it all. Bailey Merzik, one of our best students for sure, works hard as a senior and uh, getting awarded down on the field, President Docting and Dr. Nags. So uh, we're actually going to interview her in a little bit here whenever she's done with all that. Um, but first, we're going to have a huge play from the Adrian College offense. And the offense hits the field. It's a fourth and one. They are going for this, down 14-0. First play of the second quarter, and the senior tailback, Stephen Moses, in the game. Malik Ray will do some blocking for him. It looks like Werzer might go under center. We don't see that too often, hardly ever. Werzer goes under center with Ben Pelletier. He'll take the snap on a fourth and one, turns and gives. Moses needs a yard, he's got it. First down, Bulldogs. Moses got about three and a half. What a tough run. That must have been weird for Jack to do. Take a snap from under center, turn and hand it off. Yeah, he's probably going back to his roots on that one. Uh, good job blocking up front and a big time first down for the Bulldog offense. They would certainly like to convert that to points. First and 10 now from the Comet 35. Right hash mark, they send three receivers to the left. Scott, Smith, and Palace right to left. 
Jack takes, looks left all the way, throws, caught. Donald Scott has some room to the 25. That's an Adrian first down as the senior works inside the 20. Down at the 19, first down Adrian, and Donald Scott's been finding himself in openings behind that Comet defense. What a nice play there by Scott. He kind of was backpedaling as he caught the ball. They split a couple defenders and, and got the big time first down. And this drive looking promising for Adrian. First minute of the second quarter. Bulldogs trying to cut that Comet lead in half. Three wide receivers, two right, one left. And the give is to Moses. Out of the gun, gets a nice little block over the right tackle. Does a half somersault at around the Comet 15. It's a nice carry on first down. Yeah, that, that turned something out of nothing there. It did not look like there was anything there. He ended up with six yards, right? maybe even seven, uh, as we're going to see, I think, a second and four coming up. Two receptions for Donald Scott, 23 yards, setting up these Bulldog offensive players in the red zone. Moses, his sixth carry for 29 yards. Two and a, uh, one and a half gone here in this second quarter. Fake throws, caught, touchdown, Preston Smith. Oh, do they say he's short? He looked in. He's going to mark this inside the one or what? The ref that was in front of him signaled the touchdown. Yeah, I think they're giving it to him. They gave it to him. That yep. was a quick touchdown signal. Looked like it initially, and it is a touchdown. Preston Smith got inside his defender. Werzer put it on a dime. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Bulldogs have something there with the slant route from uh, from Preston Smith down by the goal line as he just kind of cut inside, made the nice catch, and fell in the end zone. Big time play there to get bounce back and get back in this game by the offense. Yeah, if there's no safety over top of Preston Smith, that route's there all day. Extra point by Cooper West. Sneaks inside that right side upright. So Adrian does just that. They cut the lead in half. It's 14-7 Comets, Olivet Football, when we come back in 30 seconds on the Adrian College Sports Network. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Docking Family Stadium, home of Bulldog football, not just football, several sports here on campus. Ian Went, Jay Hanna bringing you Bulldog football here this afternoon. It was a Nice pass from Jack Werzer to Preston Smith. He scored the touchdown, extra point good. We're within a score here at 13-13 to go first half. As the offense, Jay, executed and made a couple plays back to back. Yeah, I don't know why we'd expect any different, but Jack Werzer looking very good on senior day here. Walker Evans kicks Ooh. it up. It's gonna be fielded by the Comets. That was close to disaster for Olivet, but it will be Comet football. And with that, we'll send it down to our sideline reporter, Brett Carlisle. We'll catch up with Brett later on in this broadcast. Oh, man. We're going to get this interview? We'll try it later. Brett down there interviewing. Bailey Merzik. Football is a game of inches. Broadcasting is a game of millimeters. And it's an Olivet College play, and it's blown up in the backfield by Justin Wiseman. He makes the tackle on the Comet quarterback behind the line. Second down and about 14 for Olivet. Yeah, back about that interview. It's nice because Brad is actually... Bailey's significant other so I'm sure they were talking about how great that award was and uh, talking about what it was yeah and what we'll, it means to her we'll, we'll get back to that don't worry but a great play by Adrian on first down second and 15 the Comets operate up by seven coffee in the shotgun it's gonna be a counter play to Barnett cuts up the middle wow what a shifty tailback as he gets that lost yardage back and then some made a couple Bulldogs uh, wish they would have taped up their ankles pregame. It's a third down and manageable for the Olivet offense. 
Yeah, that was a good job getting uh, a lot of yards back on second down. And uh, But these are the plays you got to make as an Adrian College defense uh, to help that offense continue to uh, keep its momentum going. Barnett approaching 80 yards rushing in this first half. He has a touchdown run and a touchdown reception. Big third down and four. Comet send a receiver in motion across the formation now into the backfield. Coffee fakes to him, looks to throw middle. It's going to be short and incomplete. Bulldogs force a punt here as the Olivet College offense sputters after a good run by Barnett, and the defense stands tall. Yeah, that's about the uh, the fourth time or so they've ran that exact same play on third down, and the Bulldogs finally had it sniffed out and, and uh, played it really well. You would hope a Bulldog could sniff something out. Great point. Great point. <laughs> Comets can't smell too well, so that's, that's one advantage a Bulldog has over a Comet. Fourth and four, we will see the Comet punter, Brendan Sign. He awaits the snap. Bulldogs will set up a return this, a high wobbling kick. Kenny Kuyawa calls for a fair catch. It takes a Comet bounce inside the 20 all the way to the 15 and will finally rest up at the Adrian College 12 yard line. So that's where Jack Werzer and the Bulldog offense will set up shop, trailing 14 7, but scoring on their last possession. And the Comets looking to pick up the slack left on the field by their offense. They go three and out, but the Bulldogs set up deep in their own territory, right between the 12 and 13. Left hash mark. The offense really found something last drive, and that was throwing the football. Receptions by Palace and, of course, Preston Smith for the score. We'll see what they can do off of those plays. Yeah, and, and these first and second down runs and, and short passes have really worked out well to get the offense started. This is Jimmy Clark showing his shifty moves, makes a couple Comets miss. That's good for about 10, maybe 11, and it is an Adrian College first down. So Jimmy Clark, he says, look what I can do, and number 20 picks up 11. Yeah, great run there from Jimmy Clark, and it's so funny to see like the, the difference in the running backs. You know, you got Moses has some shiftiness, but also is a power back, Malik Ray a power back, and then Jimmy Clark just pure shiftiness and, and a great run, and, and that's the advantage of having three running backs you can throw out there. Werzer operates from the shotgun, first and 10 at the 24-yard line. It's going to be a fake run. Werzer tries to roll right. He will. Gets outside the pocket. Now will look to run, throw it last minute. It's going to be short of Kenny Kiawa, second and 10. Werzer just threw it down at his feet. Nothing there for the Bulldog quarterback. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Good job, good smart play from Werzer, and that's what we've seen all day today, just smart plays from Jack and um, just, just very solid offensively and um, nothing hurt on that play. It's a second down and 10 from the 24-yard line. The offense looks to the sideline for the play. Preston Smith alone at the bottom. Join that double coverage, what it looks like here from the Comet defense. They show four on the pressure. Werzer gives. Tailback Jimmy Clark bounces off a would-be tackler. He gets about 10. And that will be an Adrian College first down as that's extremely close, but anything that's close is good enough for me. First and 10 dogs. Yeah, that was just pure patience. That was like peak Le'Veon Bell-esque from uh, Jimmy Clark. He waited until the hole opened, sat back behind his line, and just sh shot through the hole. At the 34, Clark got an even 10 on that carry. He'll stay in the backfield with Jack Werzer, who works out of the gun. Claps his hands, takes it's a give to Clark. Gets some blocking on the edge, spins through a tackle and falls forward at the 40. Pick up a six, second and four. That passing game earlier, Jay, is really opening up some running lanes for Clark and Moses. Yeah, Jimmy Clark just a great job kind of switching things up for the offense and some seriously good carries right there to, to help the momentum here. And this second down and four, you got second and short. Very good situation for a play action and taking a shot downfield. And with that, they bring in the power back in Stephen Moses. He'll stand to the left of Werzer in the shotgun. Trips tight to the left. They do like to run out of this formation. Instead, it's a fake. Kenny Kiawa on a screen. That's a first down, five yards, six, seven on a second effort for Kenny Kiawa. 
First and 10 Bulldogs. Yeah, Kenny Kuyawa, uh, one of those guys that had a super good start to the season, got involved early, and he makes so many plays when he gets his hands on the ball that defenses are starting to play him a lot tougher. And uh, good to see him get involved offensively there. See, I like the call from head coach for the offense, Harry Bailey. I I saw what the Olivet coaches saw. I said, you know, they like to run out of this. And he says, you know what, we'll throw out of this formation. Little cat and mouse game. Where is there? Claps his hands once, twice. Drops straight back. Steps up, throws underneath. Kenny with a catch up over the 50. That's going to be close to an Adrian College first down, and it is 11 yards for number four. And this offense is really working here in the middle of our second quarter, just under nine to go in it. It was kind of a weird play, and if you're watching the replay, we saw some kind of just roots to the middle. It's almost like a screen play set or a, a pick play set up there for Kiawa in the middle of the field, uh, but yeah, not your typical pick play. Uh, a couple slants there and a good yeah, job so by Kiawa getting uh, outside. Some clear outs. Yeah. I think that's the word you were digging for. Yeah. Sometimes it's just not there. <laughs> First and 10 run for Clark. He meets a couple comments at the line. They say hello and throw him down to the turf. And there's a flag. <laughs> <laughs> Clark says, where's the flag? The referee says, here it is. Yeah, it was perfect timing. It looked like Jimmy Clark actually threw the flag. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Colby Williams, the senior linebacker, threw down Clark after the whistle, after his forward momentum had stopped, and that should be the call. Yeah, I, it was one of those plays where it's tough as a defender to, not, to kind of lay off and, and let the play finish, but uh, you got to do it when you hear the whistle. Coach Deer getting in the way. <laughs> Official right there. Uh, you know Coach Deer has no problem getting in the way of our cameras on the sidelines. He's focused on <laughs> some other things. That's right. <laughs> Knows where to go. Well, you know, nothing runs like a deer. Do they pay for that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jay is on, on some type of mood today. You'll love it. You'll love to see it. First and 10, Adrian at the Comets 26 following the penalty. Jack takes, gives, Moses lowers his shoulders uh. down, and he lost the ball. We've seen this happen before, and Moses trying to fight for those extra yards, coughed up the football, and the Comets get a turnover. Yeah, that's too many fumbles this year from Steven Moses, and he knows it. Um, just kind of a backbreaker on what was a good drive to try to tie the game and just asking the defense, come out, make another play. And that, that's his Achilles heel. There's one negative thing to say about Moses, that's it, that he's had trouble holding onto the rock in those Almost a rugby scrum situation. Gets stopped initially, and as he's going to the ground, the D tackle just rips it right out. Yeah, really nice strip right there. Looks like it was number 43 on the defensive side. That's uh, got to track down the number here. I know it's not on the roster either. Don't worry, I looked. Yep, first and 10 comments at their own 24. Coffee rolls right, looks, and I'm directionally challenged as he rolled to the left. It, completed it's that your pass. Right. <laughs> you're right the way you're looking at it on the defense he rolls to his right if you're watching on your monitor it's to the right all right <laughs> um, but yeah they, they keep running that little out route to the sidelines and it's, and it's working out pretty well um, for that common offense just trying to set up some more running lanes um, for that great running game they've had so far today it's a second and short call it three eight minutes to go in our second quarter it's 14 7 Olivet some last minute subs there for the Bulldog defense Bring in another linebacker. It's going to be a run to Barnett. Tries right back to the left. Looking for some yardage. He finds Bulldogs instead. A tackle again by that young freshman, 91, Ryan Moose. Made the play. Yeah, he was right there in the backfield. Great job breaking off the block as well to make the play. Set up third and short and uh, watch that rollout pass to the sideline here. It was unsuccessful their last time out. Bulldogs looking to pick up their offense after the Stephen Moses fumble. Third and three from the Olivet 31. They need their 34. Might be a run. Coffee operates from the pistol. Barnett behind him. Sends a tight end across the formation right to left. Bulldogs counter that. Barnett, stretch run to the left. Dives for a first down. Hurdle the defender. And Olivet picks up a fresh set of downs. First down, Comets. 
Yeah, that was a play that you could see him setting up the run maybe, especially with that tight end motion. Great job getting into the air and uh, falling forward for a first down. He's got that speed. He's got agility as you watch his acrobatics through the hole. First and 10, Olivet at their 37. Coffee rolls right, looks to throw that way, throws it out to the sideline, incomplete. Intended target, number two for the Comets, Jalen Broussard, the 6'3 junior from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Had no chance at that ball, but a nice throw away by Coffee. Yeah, and that's just a huge play by the Bulldog defense to force the incompletion on first down. And uh, it just creates such a less, uh, I guess, a, a positive running down right here because when you put them on second and long, they start to think about if they have to pass, and that's when the Bulldog defense forces turnovers. Coffee from the pistol, Barnett behind him. Tight end motions, it's Cooper Beard. He'll go in to block Barnett, stretch play to the right. He's got some opening, cuts back into the Bulldog 50. Now the 45 doing some dance moves inside the Adrian College 40, and that's a 20 plus yard run for Cortavian Barnett, and he is just running wild all over this Adrian defense. Yeah, that was a great job by the Comets offensive line. They just completely sealed off the right side. There was no one anywhere near uh, him on the run, and yeah, that's a, a good play uh, by the Comets. Barnett takes a break. Jeremiah Sterling in at tailback. Big number three. Listed at 6'1", 235. Coffee from the pistol from the Adrian 36. 14-7, Olivet leads. Takes, gives, Sterling goes middle, and he meets Kwiatkowski and drives his legs forward for eight yards. That's a Great play on first down to set you up for a second and whatever you want to call on a second and two. Clock moving, 5.50 to go in the second quarter. Olivet with the lead and the football inside the Adrian 30-yard line. It's second down and long two for Coffee on the offense. Bless you. Thank you. Sterling still in at tailback. Coffee. Sends Beard in motion. Now back to the left side of the formation. He'll block for Sterling. Up ahead, it's a Comet first down at the Adrian 22-yard line. Bulldog linebacker makes a play. Yeah, a bit of a change there between Cortavian Barnett, who's 5'6", 170, and then you get Jeremiah Sterling, who's 6'1", 235, that comes in there uh, as the, the power back. Yeah, you're sick of tackling this guy. <laughs> Here's a truck. Good luck. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, here's Barnett back in the contest. He's in the pistol, lined up behind his quarterback, Barnett, uh, Coffee rather, who's about four yards behind the line of scrimmage. Beard in motion, right to left, now back to the right. He'll stay in the block. Coffee turns, gives Barnett, goes left side, makes a man miss. No, he didn't. Wow, what a tackle, a shoestring-style play by the Adrian outside linebacker. Or rather, that was Kyle Minder who plays inside. Nice backside contain on that rush play by Barnett as Adrian stuffed the right side. He tries left right away, and uh, Kyle Minder from his middle linebacker spot scraped over to make a tackle. Yeah, it was just a good job just kind of hanging on just for dear wow. life. Kind of grabbed by the pants, it looks like, and uh, that was a huge tackle by Minder. Second and 10 go with the Comets from the Adrian 22. Coffee in the pistol, it's a give to Barnett again, up the middle, oh, he's met again, driving those legs, the Bulldog backer makes the play, it's 34, that's the freshman for Adrian College, Conrad Dixon. I thought it was a freshman, uh, he's a grad student, my apologies, but a textbook tackle, kids at home, if you wanna tackle a football player, that is how you do it. Sets up a third and nine for the Comets. Trying to extend their seven point lead. Bulldogs trying to clamp down. Just outside their 20. Bulldogs bring some pressure. Minder goes in, he'll take coffee and make him throw it last minute deep and it's out of play. Wow, Kyle Minder doing it all for the Adrian defense in that sequence. Couldn't bring down Coffee, but made him alter his plans. What a great blitz call right there, and, and Olivet obviously not ready for it. Um, this is four down territory. Well, it looks like they're gonna attempt to kick, um, but Minder comes through on the blitz and, and 
nearly gets a sack. I think the sack would have probably taken him out of field goal range. This is going to be a 38-yarder. Uh, Place kicker Samuel Roos from just off the left hash mark. This to make it a 10-point game. Snap, hold, the kick is up away. It's wide to the right. He missed it. Adrian defense holds again. Bulldog football. What a stand by the Adrian College defense as they stopped the Comets after Adrian fumbled the ball. So uh, Stephen Moses owes them all a steak dinner, right? Is that how that works? Yeah. I think? Yeah. Okay. Exactly, We'll yes. let him know. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll see what he can do. <laughs> First and 10, Adrian now. They'll get the ball at their own 21-yard line. Working right to left here. They, they trail it 14-7, 3-17 to play before halftime. Be sure to tune in for the halftime show. Give you a stats analysis, break down this first half, look forward to the second, maybe give you some scores from around college football. There are some big matchups, not only in the MIAA, but as you look at uh, Division I football as well. Jack takes, fakes, throws, Poyer up over the 25, lowers the shoulder on a Comet defender, and that's an Adrian College first down. As this is a pad level football game, as there are big hits left and right. Yeah, it was a great job kind of getting low to fall forward in the, for the first down, and now Adrian College just trying to get something before halftime. Adrian operates at their 31-yard line. Clock rolling inside, three minutes to go. Trailing by seven. Wurzer with Ray next to him in the shotgun. Comets show four. They'll bring four. That's a draw play. Malik Ray has some room up over the 40. He gets tackled, but not after picking up 11. And another Bulldog first down. That's a sneaky play call by Harry Bailey. Yeah, great run there by Malik Ray. And just under three minutes to play here. You got to think Adrian wants to eat as much of this clock as they possibly can, uh, getting the ball back at, at halftime. That's right. Adrian won the coin toss. They deferred. Trying to do a double dip, as they say. It's a first and 10 at the Adrian 43. Ray goes right side, looking for a couple blocks. He slips through the Olivet secondary. Ray still on his feet at the Comet 40, 35, and pushed out of bounds. Boy, Malik Ray flashing back to his Hudson days. Huge run on a great carry by the senior. Yeah, another senior having a great day on senior day. Malik Ray is running the ball hard and, and holding on the football, and now he's trying to get the crowd pumped up as well. Jack Woods are out there doing his part. Good blocking down the field. Down with Moses and as well. And those wide receivers. Gates Palace picking up a block right at the end. So Adrian using that rushing attack. They're already at the Comet 31, first and 10. Jack will throw this time. Goes out to Palace, makes a catch on the screen. Gage trying to get to the sideline. He'll get inside the 25, hold on to that football gauge as he's dropped by the Comet secondary after a short gain. Yeah, nice little catch and run there by Palace. And... Um, Good, strong six-yard gain on first down. Minute 31 and counting in this first half. Adrian College with all three timeouts. Comets with all three as well. It's a 14-7 deficit for Adrian. Wurzer from the gun. Claps his hands, takes, gives Jimmy Clark. Clark will go. A block by Wurzer on the edge inside the 20-yard line. Hey, it's senior day, Jay. Might as well go out and block for your tailbacks, too, as Wurzer springs his tailback free and a good pickup on second down. Yeah, great run there from Jimmy Clark. And Bulldogs moving the sticks yet again. Uh, 110 and counting here, so no need to hurry up. They got all three timeouts left. Like I said, they're trying to eat up this clock and, and kind of double dip before uh, Olivet can get the ball back. Clark stays in the game at running back. Inside a minute to go, first half. Wurzer takes, it's going to be another give to Jimmy Clark. Another block from Jack. Wurzer trying to spring his man free as Clark slips out to the left side down near the 10-yard line. Brings up a second down and short now for the Bulldog offense. And the Comets are waiting for them to throw it. Waiting, waiting. They're just not doing it on this drive. No, no. Why? Why? <laughs> they, there's no reason to. The, the blocking's been good up front. And good job by Jimmy Clark getting outside for a gain of six. I mean, when your school's all-time leading passer is throwing blocks on run plays, it's kind of like, okay, don't make a habit of that, but thank you, yeah, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's senior day. Let him, let him have it. Last home game for 
the senior class. 48 seconds to go in the first half. Olivet may have jumped, and Wurzer looking for a free play. They don't let him have it. I think I thought the five-yard walk-off will be a first down unless it's actually on Adrian. No, it looked like he was signaling offside, so probably an encroachment call. Yeah, that is the call. <laughs> wow. So that will make it a Bulldog first down. It's a first and goal, 47 seconds remaining. All three timeouts, your playbook is wide open like some of my weekends. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, you don't see that a ton where the, the jump off sides actually calls, blows the play dead, but he must have made contact with one of the Adrian offensive linemen. And so it's a first and goal now. Uh, again, now you got to be a little careful because it's 47 seconds left, plenty of time, but you also don't want to catch yourself you know, running out of time at the end of this drive and not able to score. First and goal from the Comet 7. Bulldogs looking to tie this football game up. It'll be a run, looking for room. He's close, he drives his way toward the goal line. And no signal yet. There's one. There Touchdown. it is, Touchdown Bulldogs. I think that was Malik Ray. Malik Ray with a scamper seven yard style and the Bulldog offense drives it from their own 12 all the way to the end zone. And that offensive line put that drive right on their big, big shoulders. Yeah, great run from Ray. Tried to get away from the defense and just kept those legs churned. Great push by the Bulldog. Uh, offensive front. Oh, now they're calling him short. One well, guy signaled touchdown. But yeah, the, the near side linesman said touchdown. Everyone else must have overruled that one. So now 37 seconds and a half. Take all that back. Um, it was a good run, though, by Ray. Give him six yards. They need one more. So now they need to get a play call in here. And Coach Deer wisely we use a timeout here with 28 seconds left we're going to pause 10 seconds for station identification this is bulldog football on the adrian college sports network name to the presentation of bulldog football on actv and wvac adrian 107.9 fm an adrian college media house production hannah bringing you adrian college football it's week nine here in this college football season can't believe there's only one more to go uh, but we have a lot of unfinished business to take care of. The final home game on Senior Day at Docking Stadium, and the Bulldogs are they are almost through the threshold of this drive. Yeah, 100%, and uh, done a great job just kind of eating up the clock and not allowing Olivet to get any time to take it down and score. And uh, like we said before, they get the ball back to start the second half with an opportunity as long as they punch this in to take the lead to start the second half. 28 seconds left to go in their first half. Second and goal, ball placed at the half yard line. See what the call is out of the timeout. I believe Malik Ray is still in at tailback. Where's her under center again? There'll be a give. Bulldog running back looking for the end zone. Olivet says no and they've stopped him short. Malik Ray tries it again, gets nothing and now there's 17 seconds left and coaching staff wants to use another timeout so we'll take one with them how about that 30 second break we'll be back bulldogs inside the one on a third down when we come back on the adrian college sports network at kibbe the current student body president here at adrian college i chose ac because the campus simply feels like home everywhere i go i know the amenities are there to help me succeed and get to the next level in my career if you want to see what adrian college has to offer you can schedule an in-person visit at adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Adrian College calls their second time out there at the one yard line of Olivet College. Trailing in this game, 14-7. 17 and a half to go in the half. They put Steven Moses in the Bulldog backfield. Jack Wurzer under center for the third time in this game. Wurzer will take, give to Moses straight ahead. He's close. The Comets stop him on third down and goal. Now it's decision time with under 10 to go. I and think Adrian they're gonna will use their last time out. Yeah, I was gonna say they're gonna run the clock down and, and make sure that Alva doesn't get the ball. This will be the last play of the half probably. All right, Jay, you get the football to start the third quarter. Are you going for this now, or do you take the almost guaranteed three? Man, 
Um, it, it looks like the ball is placed at the one, I believe. I, I just got to think you got to go for it. You got a good, strong running back, couple running backs. Um, we'll see. They, I, I don't know, though. They struggled on fourth and short last week at Hope. And so this is uh, that's a big call for Coach Bailey. You can kick the field goal um, and, you know, double dip and take the lead, but we'll there's see. A, there's a comment down at the five-yard line. We'll step aside. Adrian down 14-7 late first quarter on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. I'm Matt Kibbe, the current student body president here at Adrian College. I chose AC because the campus simply feels like home. Everywhere I go, I know the amenities are there to help me succeed and get to the next level in my career. If you want to see what Adrian College has to offer, you can schedule an in-person visit at adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Welcome back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian Went, Jay Hanna. It's fourth and goal for Adrian, down seven. At the Olivet College one, the stadium is about to get loud. There are a lot of seniors out on that field right now trying to push forward for the final one yard. And before they do that, the Olivet coaching staff wants to take a timeout. And that's a good one to take as uh, they see Wurzer under center. And that's something we don't, we literally don't see it, Jay, unless it's to take a knee to end the game. You know what I want to see is a naked boot from Jack Wars, a roll, just play action, roll out with no blockers right to the side, like the Peyton Manning used to do every once in a while. Um, I think that they're gonna run the ball up the middle, if I had to guess, based on trying to throw on fourth down last week. Um, and I think that's probably the wise thing to do, but may need to be a little gutsy with how these first couple downs have gone. I'd like to see a maybe a run to the edge instead of in between the tackles, maybe get a guy like Moses out on the edge with a blocker maybe, or you put Moses in the block and have Ray run the football. It's all speculation. The The only people that know are in that Adrian College huddle and they're getting their direction from their coaching staff. It's a fourth and goal situation at the one yard line. We see Malik Ray on the field along with Jimmy Clark. Here we go, fourth and goal from the one. 6.4 to go in this half. Bulldogs down by a touchdown. Wurzer walks up under center. Jack takes, it's a toss play. Jimmy Clark will cut back and he will score. What a play call on fourth and goal. Bulldogs score, it's a one point game. That was a great little play call there and I was, I was close, I said run to the outside. But anyway, that was a great <laughs> run there up the, uh, by Clark and for some reason the, the, cl the clock just ran the last two seconds off. And so it could be halftime if they don't adjust that. Um, what a great cutback, though. Yeah, it was a Clark. wonderful play, uh, play call by from Coach Bailey, and uh, just everything worked out perfectly for the Bulldogs on the last drive. So they'll send on the place kicker, Cooper West, to tie this game. Wide receiver, Gage Palace, will hold. This kick to tie the game. Snap is away, hold is down, kick is up away, and it's good. Adrian scores on a fourth and goal on the final play of the first half. We've hit halftime here at Docking Stadium, tied up at 14 between the Bulldogs and the Comets. In just a moment, we'll send it down to our sideline reporter, Brett Carlisle. He's going to talk to Adrian College senior running back Malik Ray, and we'll send it down to him right now. Guys here. You guys were down a couple scores for the second quarter. It'll be tied, and what's the momentum going in? They're a great football team.
Thank you. It was great talking. Thank you so much, sideline reporter down there, Brett Carlisle, doing some great work. Great work down there. Yeah, no, and uh, Malik Ray, obviously a very happy man. Um, getting to see that touchdown run there from Jimmy Clark, and um, the Bulldogs just have to be so thrilled with how um, they came back in that first half and, and, and made something of this game. The way that Cortavian Barnett has run the football, you have to be extremely happy to be tied up at the halftime break. The Olivet running back has put on a show in the first half, but a missed field goal by the Comets, a turnover for Olivet, really kept Adrian in this football game. We'll send it to the halftime break, all tied up at 14 apiece. Jay and I will be back in a few to break down the first half. We'll pause 60 seconds, and then your halftime report here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College has once again found itself on the 2022 U.S. News & World Report Best College Rankings. This is the eighth straight year that Adrian has been named to the top regional college's Midwest section. Adrian College was also named the most innovative school in the regional college's Midwest category. In addition, Adrian received accolades and best value in undergraduate teaching within regional college's Midwest. Adrian College was also named in the top first-year experiences by U.S. News & World Report. This marks the 13th consecutive year that Adrian has appeared in U.S. News & World Report. To see the full rankings, visit their website. For more information on Adrian College, visit adrian.edu. Welcome to Adrian, Michigan. We're located in a proud college town. Adrian College is situated just 45 minutes from Ann Arbor, Detroit, and Toledo. We're very excited to show you just a little bit of what AC has to offer. This is the gateway to our campus. Welcome to the place that we believe will change the rest of your life. AC features one of the most well-rounded educational experiences in the country. We offer over 60 different academic majors and 10 academic institutes, as well as dozens of student organizations. Year after year, we've been ranked as one of the nation's best colleges, including being one of the most innovative institutions in the U.S. for our medical programs. Our campus is simply beautiful. Our student to faculty ratio is an incredible 13 to 1. That means more attention for you and a much better overall learning environment. We know how to put together an education that is life changing. And these are just some of the highlights. From our communication arts program, to our many performing arts, to the home of business on campus, to our sciences and medical studies, we have the spaces where you can grow into the professional that you want to become. Our first year student experience is award winning. You'll make lifelong friends here, meet mentors, and maybe even meet that special someone. The Kane Student Center is open 24 hours a day, and there's a lot going on here. The Bulldog Beanery has all of your hot drinks. Pause and Go is our on-campus convenience store the bookstore is where you'll get all of your Bulldog gear, and you can just hang out and study in the sky boxes. Not far away is the Shipman Library. The Shipman has quiet, relaxing spaces for you to study in. You can check out books from thousands of libraries around the country, and the Shipman is open 24 hours as well for your convenience. There are hundreds of learning opportunities on campus. In addition to the arts and beautiful facilities, Adrian College is known for its athletic programs. There is nothing like a Saturday game day here in Adrian. The Bulldog football team are 11-time MIAA champions. At Docking Stadium, fans watch soccer, lacrosse, football, and more. Just a few hundred yards away, Adrian College's basketball teams compete. 
In addition to basketball, fans can enjoy wrestling, acro and tumbling, and volleyball here. We also have a state-of-the-art weight room available to all of our students. When things heat up too much on campus, you can cool off with our ice sports. Our NCAA ice hockey teams are constantly battling in the national playoffs. Just a quick walk down the service drive, we feature one of the best baseball and softball programs in the nation at our level. Soon you'll be able to cross the street and watch men's and women's rugby take to the pitch as well. Our rowing, crew, and top-ranked bass fishing programs compete out of the Adrian College Boathouse, a gorgeous facility, just a 15-minute drive north on Devil's Lake. Our students know how to relax in their downtime. When they're not out and about, we have dozens of housing options on campus. With apartments right in the mix of things, you can pick what works best for you. We've also recently renovated a few of our housing options. Adrian College is a Methodist affiliated institution that has been changing lives since 1859. The modern liberal arts education offered by our faculty is unrivaled. We can't wait to have you on campus and show you around. Visit adrian.edu to schedule a full campus visit today. We'll see you soon. What if you didn't choose to become an Adrian College Bulldog? Surely you would have carried on with your education and could potentially be graduating elsewhere. But what would you have the honor of greeting Bruiser on campus? Would you have had the privilege of working alongside faculty that know your name? Would you have had the opportunity to learn and grow in an environment that is seeking the truth and dignity in all people? Would you have had a creative learning environment that is supportive of challenging you and achieving excellence in your academics, but also your personal and professional lives. This has been Adrian College's promise to us. Just as our families have promised to love us unconditionally and support us through the many peaks and valleys of our lives, Adrian offered a similar promise to us when they realized our potential by asking us to join them. While we have been busy navigating the many what ifs of our time, none of which we could have imagined, we have indeed found the cane that holds our ribbons of excellence at Adrian to stand strong. Strength and tradition. A tradition that carries on from graduating class to graduating class. A symbolic reminder of the leadership carrying the motto, no victory without work. The Adrian College class of 2021 can proudly proclaim that we have earned our ribbon of excellence for persevering through a pandemic because of our hard work. We have to, had to learn how to best navigate the many what ifs in uncharted times. While some of the what ifs have been answered, it is now up to each of us to embrace and navigate on our own. What if I take that job? What if I decide to continue on for postgraduate endeavors? What if I decide this? What if I decide that? No matter what, you'll be able to face your tomorrow knowing that you are a member of a pack, the Adrian College Bulldogs Class of 2021. Part of the family here at Adrian College are the friends we've made. These friends have gone to games with you, shared late night tales with you, explored downtown with you, and joked around with you at Ritchie. They are in the library with you at midnight, studying for the 8 a.m. exam you forgot to study for. And they're there when you cry because you failed that exam. These friends are your new family members now. You will stay in touch with them forever, even if it's just liking their Facebook posts about the new puppy they just got. Parents, family, and friends, we cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us. Thank you for the support, and the opportunity for this moment to graduate from Adrian College. You have helped us reach our dreams and goals in life. Congratulations, class of 2021. We finally made it.
Crosses over, back onto the far side. Rips a shot, she scores! We're at halftime at Docking Family Stadium. It's 14 all between the Bulldogs and the Comets. Ian Wentz, Jay Hanna at the halftime break. It was uh, Olivet getting off to a quick 7-0 start and then uh, really back and forth from there. And it, it's been the, the play of the really shining star of the Comets uh, running back field, Cortavian Barnett, 13 rushes. 117 yards, a touchdown rushing, and one receiving. He's really been it for the Olivet offense. Really, it's been the, the story of both running backs, or both sides running uh, backfield at least. Uh, both teams run the ball super well. Adrian did a good job of adjusting after the big, strong start there um, from Barnett. And, uh, yeah, it, it should be an interesting second half, especially now that we're back to, to even between the two teams. And uh, for the Bulldogs, it was Malik Ray, 57 yards in that first half to lead rushers for the Bulldogs. The one touchdown rushing was Jimmy Clark on that fourth and one final play of the first half. Uh, Throwing the football, Jack Werzer, 10 of 14 for 98 yards and a score, a touchdown pass to Preston Smith. Take a look at scores around the Michigan Intercollegiate Athletic Association, the oldest athletic conference in the country. Halftime at Hope, 424 apiece. 24-24 between Hope College and Albion College. And over in Alma, it's the Thunder leading the Scots 12-10. They are about five minutes from halftime. So that's where we stand uh, in the MIAA. So very even matchups as we have here between Olivet and Adrian College. Yeah, and uh, the second half will be the the team that can control the ball more. We saw Adrian kind of drive down the field there and take up a lot of clock there on that final drive. And um, it just seems like Adrian kind of sucked all the momentum out of the Olivet sidelines. And um, they're obviously going to look to do that one more time with this next drive. As we look at some of the key stats for this one, first downs favor Adrian heavily, 17-10 over Olivet. That's been a uh, obviously a, a glaring statistical difference, but you really see it on the field as they want to work to keep Barnett on that Olivet sideline because you know we've seen it he's something special and kudos to the offense and the defense for making stops when they've needed to. I think the big number on that board though is that one turnover to zero that turnover obviously didn't lead the points for Adrian but it showed their defense could um, make something happen and uh, uh, obviously Adrian College has one turnover as well with the fumble but um, Jack Wars are doing a good job controlling the ball and um, yeah like I said that number will be the difference in the second half. Whoever can hold on to the ball and, and eat up some clock. Seniors are certainly playing like seniors here today as we get some final notes from the Bulldog marching band down there on the field uh, doing their halftime show. So we have some fire down there, literally fire. <laughs> I never knew how Dangerous they put that out. Dangerous but safe. That was... Uh, 
just that found was cool. out. Yeah, I just found out how they put out that fire on the baton. Put it in that little steel container. Whatever they did, it worked. And, uh, you know, 14-14, and yeah, it's going to be a great second half. And, you know, these two teams, big picture in the conference, they're out of contention to win the league um, with two and two mark for Adrian, two and three for Olivet. But, man, they are not playing like it. They're playing with, with something, you know, a chip on their shoulder. Final home game for the Bulldogs seniors out here today. And, you know, the school's all-time leading passer in Jack Werzer um, in all likelihood his final game. And we didn't really get to talk about the COVID situation and how it affects the eligibility for these student athletes. Yes, you're allowed a, an extra year, the, the COVID year of eligibility. But as you know, the makeup of Division Three athletics in the NCAA, you're not allowed to give a athletic scholarships. So in all likelihood, if, if you're in a situation where you will be graduated in four years on the nose, eight semesters, this will be your final game um, because chances are you're not going to pay to come back and play football. And that's the difference. You know, Division One, you can give those scholarships and they go to school for free. And, and that's just the, the tough reality of it. So maybe a couple seniors will find their way back, maybe some fifth years. But uh, it's a lot of question marks for uh, the seniors. Yeah, 100 percent. And, you know, just being a part of the Adrian College basketball program, um, we have a lot of super seniors there as well, a lot of graduate students. So maybe there will be some guys that want to go come back and get another degree and, and maybe look for that, that, that sought after uh, MIAA championship next season. Let's take a look at some scores across America. As we looked at the MIAA earlier, some scores in Division I football. Uh, end of the third quarter, number 15, Mississippi leads Liberty at home there, 27-14. Memphis leading 23rd ranked F SMU at home, 14-10. That game late third quarter. Wake Forest over UNC in uh, North Carolina, 31-27. That score early in that third quarter. We have Georgia. Yeah, no problem with Missouri, number one in the country, 40-3. Bulldogs lead that one down in Georgia, uh, middle of the third. Uh, the Big Ten matchup going on right now. Jays Buckeyes are out in Lincoln. They lead the Cornhuskers 20 to 10. That game about eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Other games uh, Bulldog fans might be interested in. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, they're home for Navy. That'll be at a 3.30 tip off there. Big Ten matchup, Penn State travels to Maryland. Michigan State on the road at Purdue. That's a 3.30 start. Iowa at Northwestern. That game will be tonight at 7. Indiana uh, taking on Michigan. That game will be in Ann Arbor at the Big House. The night game at 7.30. Number 9, Michigan looking to bounce back. Yeah, I could see a couple upsets tonight in Michigan, I think. Spoken like a true Buckeye. Jay Hanna, we appreciate it. We'll take a quick... 30-second break, kickoff moments away on the Adrian College Sports Network. College Television has the pleasure of airing all Adrian College football games this 2021 football season. And along for the ride are these wonderful sponsors, including the Adrian College Bookstore, Gurgin Insurance Agency, Carlton Lodge, and sponsoring each week's player of the game, Hungry Howie's Pizza. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of each broadcast to see who was named Hungry Howie's Player of the Game. Second half kickoff, mere moments away from Docking Family Stadium on the campus of Adrian College, the home of Bulldog football. Ian Went, Jay Hanna with you for a 14-14 tie. Adrian scored on the final play, a fourth and one. Final play of that first half. Here's the kickoff away will uh, be returned by Adrian from the goal line. They work up to the 10, 15, slips a tackle there. He won't slip that one as he fights to the 20. It's a rugby style scrum short of the Bulldog 20. They'll mark it at around the 19, maybe 18 yard line. So we talked about that double dip at the end of the first half. This is the second part of that dip. Now you'd like to go down and score here if you're Adrian on offense. Yeah, I think Coach Bailey would like to see him eat up about eight minutes of, of game time as well on this drive. and. It's just going to be uh, whether or not they can continue to run the ball and, and just keep the clock moving because uh, they had so much success there uh, at the end of the first half with that. 
Jimmy Clark starts this third quarter at tailback. He lines up next to Jack Werzer, who's in the shotgun. Three receivers out wide to the left, the wide side of the field. Werzer will give to Clark. What blocking. Oh, he's got an edge to the left side. Clark up over the 30, 35, wheels at the 40. Slipping another tackle up over the 45. That's a 20 plus yard gain for number 20, first and 10, Adrian. Yeah, we haven't seen Steven Moses since that fumble and that's because they haven't really needed him. Um, it's been a great run there from Jimmy Clark and Malik Ray also out on the turf right now. So um, expect to see a heavy dose of them here in the second half. First and 10, Adrian at the 46. Malik Ray in at tailback. He'll take the fake. Where's the throws back? Shoulder going for his man. And the Bulldogs looking for a hold on the edge as they were going for Preston Smith. Now the pass was wide. I'm not sure if he was altered by the Olivet defensive back out there. That was number eight in coverage, John Thompson. I like the call on first down, though, taking a shot down the sidelines. They love that back shoulder throw with Preston Smith. And that went a little wide, but yeah, maybe a little handsy on the outside, and uh, now the Bulldogs gonna have to get a significant gain on second down. Jimmy Clark working on himself down there on the sideline, trying to get back into this contest. Instead, it's Malik Ray. Tight trips to the line on the left. Where's it to throw out of it? A fake screen to oh. Kenny Calva. Over the middle, he's got Palace. Wide open at the 30. Gage breaks free to the 20. 15, 10, 5, he will score! Bulldogs go 54 yards on that one. What a play call. Wurzer to Palace. Bulldogs get six. It is perfectly set up. It was a fake little pass to the outside, and I, I was just laughing. It, it looked like it was C.J. Watson running down the sidelines, waving his arms, and that was because that was so open, and he knew he was going to be running for a long way, and a great job by Palace cutting across the other side and taking in for the touchdown. It's one of those, hey, we've seen that before. Wait, it's something different. Bulldogs with a house call and Gage Palace. Honestly, I didn't know if he'd get there, but Palace beat the safeties to that pylon to score the touchdown. Cooper West on for the PAT. He does his job. Adrian gets that double dip. They lead it 21-14 here at home. We'll pause 30 seconds. Comets football when we come back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24 hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television. Don't look now, but Adrian College has a lead here at home, 21-14. It's been all Bulldogs, late second quarter, now early third. Big, long pass to Gates Palace, set up by plays that we mentioned they called earlier. Yeah, Take the screen, and he just went. I was just going to say, Coach Bailey's been setting that one up all day. They've ran that screen pass about three times, and that time they faked it. Palace just kind of leaked down the middle and uh, a nice long completion and an even longer catch and run. So we've seen two 54-yard passes go for touchdowns today. The first one for Olivet. Now the Bulldogs with one. Walker Evans, that's a high kick. Fair caught by Olivet, just shy of the 35-yard line. So we'll see what Coffee and the offense can do, and it hasn't been much as of late. Adrian's defense really focusing in on their star tailback, Cortavion Barnett, but he still put up some really good yardage in that first half. Yeah, for sure, and he, he's the guy that they gotta kinda contain here in the second half because when he gets bottled up, that offense just kind of becomes one-dimensional and, and uh, I think the Bulldogs wanna force him to throw more here in the second half. Late substitution for AC. Put in another linebacker, that's a run-type formation for Olivet and the offense. Coffee in the pistol. Barnett behind him. It's going to be a fake to Barnett. Looks over the middle. No one there. And the Bulldog brings him down. It's Justin Wiseman on senior day. Gets the sack. A second and long for Olivet. Yeah, Justin Wiseman played that completely perfectly 
sprinting right by the blocker and a huge play there defensively. Hellevet was going for Deontay Higgins down the field, but Adrian's defensive back stayed with him all the way through the play. Nowhere to go, and Wiseman got to the QB. It's a second and 13 for Olivet. 13-25 and counting in our third quarter. From their own 32, they operate. Tight end in motion. On the left side of the line, this will be a run to Barnett. Goes left side. Oh, he gets grabbed by the shoestring as Kyle Minder made a living of doing that his four years at AC. Uh, another, that might have been a touchdown saving tackle. Yeah, I was about to say, it looked like he was going to run a long way. Good, another well-blocked play to the outside by the Olivet offensive line, but just an even better play by Kyle Minder. So a three-yard gain makes a third and 10 for the Comets at the 35-yard line. They need the 45. Coffee in the shotgun, three out wide for him. Two right, one left. Tight end shifting over to the right side. Coffee straight back to pass. Looks left side, throws that way. Tight coverage and it's too far. Going for Barnett on that little wheel route and it's incomplete. Yeah, really nice coverage on the outside there um, by Adrian College and uh, just perfectly played defensively and uh, a really big stop there to give the offense a chance to build on their lead. Is that Wade's Ashman on the coverage, 41? Yes, I, that's who I Fresh, believe it was. He, he's the freshman linebacker I was thinking of earlier from Troy. Coach Deere loved the way he's been playing in conference play. <laughs> Tasked with covering the speedy Barnett out of the backfield, and he does just that. It's a fourth and 10, Comets to punt. There go empty on their first possession. Here's a booming kick, drives Kwiatkowski back to his 15. Follows Kenny Kuyawa's block up to the 30. And he gets tackled right there. And a flag on the play as Jimmy Cannon lost his lid at the Adrian 22. We'll check this call. I think they might, get, the play. they might get Cannon for personal foul, but it kind of looked like he was being held to the ground there. And they kind of were wrestling to the turf. And I, honestly, I thought it could have been a hold. Yeah, that's what they're going to call. It's going to be a hold on Cannon. So defense holds. Olivet forced to punt the football. It'll be Adrian possession. The spot we don't know as the officials are holding a little conference. And it is a holding on Jimmery Cannon. Yeah, the... It was kind of unnecessary, uh, but it, he, he had a hold of him, and he kind of spun him around and took him to the ground. So if, if he doesn't turn him and take him to the ground and he just kind of blocks him a little bit, I don't think it's a hold. And, uh, yeah, so that's a tough break for the Bulldogs. But, again, they force the punt, and they get the ball in, you know, decent enough field position at about the 15. The sophomore from Detroit does have an interception in this game. He had two against Hope two weeks ago. Off the Olivet College punt, the football now placed at the Adrian 14. They drove from their own 12 to end the first half. Coming off a touchdown in their first possession of the third quarter, here's a run right up the middle. Some dance moves being put on by the Bulldog tailback. He gets to the 20, gain of six, and it's another run for Jimmy Clark. Yeah, Jimmy Clark looking good today, showing some wheels, and gee, six yards on first down, you can't beat that. I mean... Just uh, continuing to, to get big runs and big chunks here early on, on, these, uh, on these chains. And if you go back to week one here against Heidelberg, Jimmy Clark started at running back. He went out with a lower leg type injury and he really hasn't been himself until today. He's been playing some really good ball for Coach Bailey on the offensive staff. It's another run for Clark. Gets to that edge and he's the 24. He's gonna be close out of bounds on the Adrian sideline. And if he's close, they're gonna give it to him and he's right near the sticks. Yeah, you were right. They're gonna give him the first down. And yes, they moved the chains. And they had big Nate Bennett out there, the uh, sophomore offensive lineman, 6'6", 380, leading the way on the blocking there. Jimmy had to wait for him for a minute. Get out to his block. Anchoring that left side of the line. 
Werzer claps his hands once, now twice. It's going to be a run. Malik Ray stops and starts. Goes over the left side. Wide open green grass for Malik Ray up over the 35. That's a run of 12 and a bulldog first down. Malik Ray bottled up. He said not so fast. Spun out of that thing. First and 10, Adrian. And these tailbacks, Jay, are just having themselves a field day. Man, they're just being so patient. I mean, he saw there was nothing there. He backed up and followed along, and a great job by the, the left tackle there to kind of shield off that block and allow him to get the first down. Ball resting at the Adrian 37. They have a lead. It's 21-14, 10.45 to play in our third quarter. Where's is going to take and give? Why not? Here's Malik Ray, left side, into the secondary. It's a first down, Adrian College. Wow, that left side has some wide open spaces like out in Montana. It's another multiple yard gain for Malik Ray. It's inside Olivet territory at the 47. Yeah, Malik Ray's probably been like, man, where's these holes been all season long? <laughs> Every time he gets in there, it seems to be for a power situation. And Bulldogs doing a good job rotating back and forth between Clark and Ray. And yeah, it, we haven't, like I said, we haven't seen much Stephen Moses, and they haven't needed him. It's been all Malik Ray, all Stephen, uh, Jimmy Clark. And there is Clark. He spells Ray for a moment. They check to the sideline. To all the quarterbacks with the green practice jerseys over their game jerseys. That's going to be a fake. Werzer throws. He's going for Smith. He goes up. A contested grab. Is he inbounds? He is. And there's a flag down at the point of reception as Preston Smith went up and got that ball. A good throw by Werzer, but even a better catch by Smith. Yeah, great run or a great uh, job staying on the sidelines on the run and um, I think they're probably going to get defensive pass interference if I had to guess right there. There was a lot of contact on the sidelines. Just but a fraction of space on that left sideline. And they're talking about this, and it might not be as clear cut as pass interference. But again, we await the call. Yeah, and there it is. Relatively simple call. Coach Deer declines it. Gives Smith that catch, and it's an Adrian College first down regardless. With 9.56 to play in our third quarter, they place the ball at the Comet 22, and if Preston Smith gets single coverage, as he said against Alma, uh, Jack's looking my way, and I'm going to get the ball. And it seems like there's been more than five minutes off this third quarter, doesn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's been... A productive and a, an Adrian-leaning third quarter, but you're right, Jay, a lot of stoppages. From the gun, Werzer takes, he will give. Here's Jimmy Clark going over that left side. He ball. lost the ball. Oh, he got punched out. Comets take over at the 24, and that's a second fumble by these Bulldog tailbacks. Moses had one, and Clark just left it out there like a I don't know, something you leave out in the rain. <laughs> it just, yeah, it was not not a good good turnover there for Adrian, especially when you could go down and, you know, not necessarily put this game away, but make you feel pretty good. And uh, there's just nothing there. And he turned his back uh, on the play, and, and that was just a good job by the uh, Comet defense to punch it out. I think it was 93, Jalen Rogers, the senior lineman, 6'3", 285 on a Lansing who got that ball loose from Jimmy Clark. So uh, the Comets with life with 9.32 to play third quarter, trailing the Bulldogs 21-14. Coffee will give to Barnett out of the backfield, cuts back to the right, and the Bulldog D line collapses quickly after a short gain on a first down carry. Conrad Dixon on the tackle for Adrian. Give him about two and a half, maybe three. Dixon, the grad student from Inkster, Michigan. Second and seven for the Comets. It'll be a fake. Coffee rolls out left, looks for his man. It's a extension and a grab and a first down as he jumps out of the Olivet side of the field into the out of bounds area. And it's a first down for Olivet. About eight yards on the catch for number four out on the edge for the Comets. That's Jakari Hamilton. 
Comets back to the line quickly, using some pace. Coffee in the pistol. That's about three or four yards behind the line of scrimmage. His tailback lines up behind him. He'll turn to his left and give to Barnett. He's wrapped up quickly. Wow, an armbar tackle there for the big man on the inside. I believe that was 94, Randall Broom. It's a sophomore from Flint. He just stuck one arm out there and took down the running back. Yeah, heck of a play inside. And another play that looked like it could have been a, a lot bigger it had one person just not made a huge play like Broom just did. Talking to Deer during the bye week, Coach Deer, and it's about you know defense. If you have one person not do your job, that could be a big play for the other team, just like on offense. Adrian's been making those plays as of late. Here's Barnett, slips through one, now two, and that's a Comet first down, and that is just the speed and quickness and acceleration from a back who's up over 120 yards rushing. This is a critical point in the game here where Olivet's obviously trying to get down the field and tie this up, but if the Bulldog defense can find a way to make a stop and turn that around into points offensively, they have to feel so good, and that's why that fumble was just gigantic in the scheme of this game. Football on the right hash mark of the Adrian College 47. The Comets work from left to right. Down by a touchdown. It's Barnett, left side. Gets through the first level, but not through the second. As Brandon Kwiatkowski in on the tackle, the second leading tackler on this Bulldog defense. With how uh, much success Barnett's had today, you got to think a four-yard or a three-yard gain is just a giant win. It really yeah, it does seem that way. And Barnett to the sideline as they go with their bruising power back. It's Jeremiah Sterling again at 6-1 back, 235 behind Coffey, who awaits this pistol snap. Second and six, Coffey rolls, feeling the heat from Wiseman, escapes that, and Minder will bring him down after a short gain, maybe not even a gain, as Wiseman almost had him in the backfield, but uh, Kyle Minder... Had his back for the tackle. And that was a play where Wiseman didn't give up either. He came back and was uh, probably shared a tackle on that one. Uh, maybe even a tackle for loss as he forced him into the arms of Minder and he came back and, and hit the quarterback. And now we see third down and, and medium here. And this is where the Bulldogs' strengths are defensively. Adrian puts in another defensive back out there. Olivet spreads him out. Two left, one right. Third and five with 6.09 to go in the third. Coffee looks, he's going to try to run the ball. Now we'll throw it last second. It's a catch made in bounds right in front of the Bulldog bench. And that looks to be a first down by the nose of the football. That was extremely close. There's a late flag. That's going to be on Adrian. Um, first of all, I think he caught that out of bounds, but uh, they marked him in bounds and um, a good job making the completion. And I think maybe this is going to go against. Uh, 91. No, on DeAndre Jennings, okay. So I saw both of them down there, and yeah, it was just a, something late after the play with Olivet. And Coffey initially looked like he was going to sprint out to the right. That may have been the initial call, but then he picked it up, threw it, picked up a first down and a catch that the Bulldog coaches and players will debate, but you can't dwell on it. Instead, it's a Comet first down after the penalty at the Adrian College 22. We've seen this movie before, and Adrian made a stop. We'll see what they do now. Up seven, under six to go in the third. Coffey sends Beard in motion, the tight end, to the left side of the line. Fakes it to Sterling. It's swing out pass. It's caught to the 20, and inside the 15, that's a Comet first down as the speedy receiver out there, 13. Akeem Benjamin just outran Sam Madrid in single coverage. Yeah, and that's big aspect of this penalty on DeAndre Jennings is just they get the ball down the red zone, they take all the momentum, and we're approaching, you know, just over halfway through the third, and Alvez a chance tied up with all the momentum on their side. This is a first and goal now for the Comets as they're driving from left to right. Noise from the Bulldog band, fans, and the team on the sideline. Coffey gives to Sterling. He dives forward for a yard, maybe two, as he lost his footing. 
and some more extracurriculars out on the edge. No flag results in it, but these wide receivers and corners are really getting after it. Yeah, and uh, that was a play that was kind of doomed from the start. It looked like Coffey and Sterling got their feet tangled up uh, on the handoff, and that's why he kind of stumbled. And so that's a break for the Bulldogs as we get second and goal from the 10. Or it looks like they're saying the eight, but I think he's at the 10. Just a shade inside. We'll call it nine and three quarters. I can live with it. It's so a second and goal for the Comets. Coffee in the pistol. He has Barnett right behind him. And it will be a run to the speedy back. Goes right over the middle. Wow, what speed. He's in. Touchdown, Olivet. Like a hot knife through butter. Goes through that Bulldog defensive line. And like a flash, the Comets score six. Yeah, that was a great run from from him there. And, uh, yeah, now Adrian's going to be forced to make an answer. They haven't uh, – they had all the momentum coming out of the halftime break on their side, drove it all the way down the field, and just like that, a fumble, you know, a bad penalty on DeAndre Jennings, and then, um, you know, this touchdown run, Olivet, right back in it. So after Adrian had scored 21 straight points, the Comets answer with a nine-yard touchdown run for Barnett. Here's the extra point. It's up away, and that looks good, and it is good. We have a tie ball game, 42 points divided evenly. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Bulldog football when we come back on the Adrian College Sports Network. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Twenty-one apiece between the Bulldogs and the Comets here at Docking Family Stadium, Week Nine in the MIAA football season. Ian Went, Jay Hanna, with you on the Adrian College Sports Network. A nine and three quarters yard run for Cortavian Barnett has tied the football game at 21. Adrian set to get this football back. Comets take advantage of the Jimmy Clark fumble and drive it 76 yards for the touchdown. Waiting the kickoff. And here it is, that's a long, deep kick and there will be no Adrian College return. They'll set up after the touchback, so Jay off of fumble on a drive that ironically was working really well on the ground. Yeah, I think I think you don't change any any of the game plan. You stick with what's working. The running back just got to hold on to the ball and, uh, again, try to eat up some clock and, and take it down and, and put a, in the go-ahead score. Ball on the left hash of the 25-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Adrian. Olivet led this ball game 14-0, and then Adrian scored the last 21 points until that most recent answer by the Comets. So back and forth we go. 4.31 to go in our third quarter. Two receivers right, one left. Smith alone on the left. And it's a give. We see Stephen Moses. He'll lower his shoulders and pick up about four. up near the 30, about the 29-yard line. Yeah, that was a good run for Moses. Good to see him back out there as uh, I believe he's over that, or he's hit that 1,000-yard mark or close to it at least uh, for the season. Second down and six for the Bulldog offense. Wurzer in the shotgun. Moses with 30 nine yards on the game. It's a throw out a screen to Gage Palace and Olivet sniffs it out and they tackle number zero for no gain. It's a third down and six just like that. Yeah, big play up coming for the Bulldogs. You don't want to punt the ball back to Olivet with all their momentum they have right now. From the 29 yard line. They'll substitute out Moses for Malik Ray. They've run it on a third and five before the setup of fourth down. No, they're not not sure that's the situation yeah. here. Third and six, 315 and counting. Werzer claps his hands, gets the snap, stands in, looks up. He's going to jump up into the pocket, and he's tackled 
for no gain. Getting off his block and making the play for the Comets, Dennis Simmons. The 6'3", 275 lineman from Willis. Yeah, he's just a second too late to get through there for, he probably had room to run had he stepped up just a second earlier. Looked like he was talking to his receivers and something something miscommunicated downfield and a good job by the Comets to get the stop and they're getting the ball back here before the end of the third quarter. We'll see the senior Austin Banky averaging 39 and four tenths of a yard coming into this ball game. He gets this one away, it's a high punt. Not the distance he was hoping for. It will be touched up by Sam Madrid at around the 50 yard line. So that's about a 21, 21 yard punt. Yeah. Not ideal for number 86. Not at all and sets Alvet up in good field position with the opportunity to take the lead. Take a look at some of the stats for the Bulldogs. Passing the football, Jack Werzer is 13 of 18, 477 yards, two touchdowns, and one sack. Gates Palace, 80 yards receiving on five catches and a touchdown. Preston Smith, two catches, 38 yards, and a touchdown. Yeah, Werzer's been sharp today, for sure. His counterpart now, Coffee, operates. Looks deep, nowhere to go. He's gonna take off and run with it. Scampers out of bounds on the Adrian sideline for six yards. Good awareness by the Olivet quarterback as they send everyone deep. And he said, you know what? I'll take what you give me and that'll be a six yard gain. Yeah, Olivet's obviously not gonna be in any hurry to, to get back to line. They're gonna take their time and just set up a nice strong drive. Uh, something they did after the, the turnover last possession. Other than the 54 yard pass to Barnett, not too much in terms of passing the ball for the Comets. So instead they turn, here is Barnett. Starts middle, cuts back, and he's tackled just short of the line to gain as Wiseman and uh, Minder combine for the tackle. Yep, nice play there, setting up third and short, and this is a situation we really haven't seen all of that in today is that third and short. Especially when you work from that pistol formation where the quarterback is about four or five yards behind the line of scrimmage and then the tailback is two yards behind him. So Barnes standing at the 49, he needs to get to the Adrian 40. The tight end in motion into the backfield. Here go the Comets, a third and one. It's a fake to Barnett, throws, Beard caught the football. He is lit up into tomorrow by Sam Madrid. He held on though, it's a first down Olivet at the Bulldog of 36. Yeah, that was a pretty easy. Make that 38. Easy Sorry. play there, uh, easy completion for Coffee, and just a nice setup play. Just kind of leaked out there and no one there. Good hit by Madrid, trying to hit the ball out, but yeah, another first down for Olivet. Coming off the touchdown drive moments ago, final minute, third quarter, 21-21. Comets have three out wide, two right, one left. Tight end tight to the line, he'll motion across to the right side. Coffee gives to Barnett. Adrian right there for him as Quiet Kowski and moves in on the tackle as 91's played himself a ball game. Yeah, for sure. That was a great job because that was another play that was blocked really well and uh, the hole just closed quickly and that's a big thanks to Quiet Kowski coming in from the safety spot. Most of the time this Adrian defense will play that one deep safety and over the years it has been Brandon Quiet Kowski. That affords them to bring maybe an extra linebacker up into the box or play different types of coverages. It's a very smart football player back there, number six. It's a second and seven, and Olivet content to not run another play. Third quarter has expired, a touchdown apiece. We're all square, 21 all, heading into the fourth stanza. We've got a good one in Adrian. We'll take a 30 second break. You're tuned in to Bulldog Football on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College Television has the pleasure of airing all Adrian College football games this 2021 football season. And along for the ride are these wonderful sponsors, including the Adrian College Bookstore, Gurgin Insurance Agency, Carlton Lodge, and sponsoring each week's player of the game, Hungry Howie's Pizza. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of each broadcast to see who was named Hungry Howie's Player of the Game. 
welcome you back to Docking Family Stadium, the home of Bulldog Athletics. So, Jay, it's 21 apiece, just like we thought it would be. <laughs> Two tightly contested teams. We did say first one to 20 wins, so technically that means Adrian College has already won. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a good back-and-forth game. We knew it was going to be a close game, especially after the spring. And um, Adrian's going to have to make a stand defensively here and uh, try to get the ball back. It's been a game of streaks. Olivet scored the first 14 points in this game. Adrian flips that script. They score 21 in a row. And Olivet answered with a touchdown their last drive. Their defense forced a three and out. And they have the ball operating from the Adrian College 36. It's a second and seven for David Coffey and the Olivet offense. Kurtavian Barnett in at tailback behind him. Coffee gives Barnett like a flash through that line and Kwiatkowski comes up to meet him after what looked like a longer gain initially, but it's only about three yards as Kwiatkowski is really filling up that stat sheet. Yeah, for sure. Kwiatkowski has been a big part of this drive and I expect him to be even more part of this fourth quarter as uh, the senior just continues to make plays. We have a third down and six from the Adrian College 33 yard line. Coffey from the pistol, has Barnett behind him. Snap, give Barnett, met by some Bulldogs there. The cutback lane's not there either. Nothing but black jerseys and Adrian takes down Barnett for a one yard loss, a fourth down decision upcoming for the Comets offense. Before we get to that, we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're tuned in to Bulldog Football. Adrian College Television has the pleasure of airing all listening to the presentation of Bulldog Football on ACTV and WVAC Adrian 107.9 FM, an Adrian College Media House production. Olivet's offense on the field. It's a fourth and six. Coffee takes the snap, throws to the left side, caught by Barnett. He's wide open. He has a comet first down. And how you lose number five on that play, I have no idea, but. Barnett slips out of the backfield for a big gain of first and 10. Yeah, that was a huge play and uh, great play call by, by Olivet. And uh, they obviously saw something from the Bulldog defense that led to that. And uh, I think it was just a mixed communication there. Just ran that wheel route behind a couple of slants and the Olivet receiver just in the right spot to spring Barnett free. First and 10 comets from the Bulldog 24. 13.06 to go in this game. It's another turn and give. This is Sterling. He's got some space up the middle. Sterling could go. He's inside the five and brought down a touchdown saving tackle. But Ster uh, Sterling with his biggest carry of the afternoon, 20 plus yards and Comets just like that have a first and goal. Yeah, they're looking, looking prime to take the lead and uh, a lot of positive plays here for this drive from Olivet and Bulldog defense was one play away from getting the ball back and all of a sudden Olivet's inside the five. Right at the three, it'll be a give to Sterling again. He blows his way toward the goal line. He's down just shy at the one yard line, upended by the Bulldog defender. It's Kwiatkowski, another tackle on this drive. So 12.40 to go. It's a 20-20, excuse me, 21-20 game. Comets looking to take the lead back. Sterling still in the backfield behind Coffey. It'll be a give, right guard, he walks in. Touchdown Comets. They've now scored 13 unanswered points on the Bulldogs and lead it here on the road at 27-21 with the extra point upcoming. Yep, big time drive there from Olivet and Adrian offense has their hands full after a three and out last possession and a turnover the possession before that. Uh, have to step up and, and make some plays on this drive. The all important extra point up coming for Samuel Roos. Wind somewhat in his face across from right to left. The run up and the kick. It is up away and that kick is good. So it's a Comet lead by seven. Adrian College offense will hit the field after this 30 second timeout. 
trailing by seven on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24-hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television. You're tuned in to Bulldog football, and we have a good one at Docking Family Stadium at Adrian College. Ian Wenche Hanna bringing you this edition of Bulldog football. The Comets score a one-yard run for the tailback, Jeremiah Sterling. They find themselves out in front, 28-21. Here's a kickoff, deep but returnable for the Adrian return man at the 11. Gets some blocking out there on the edge, stays on his feet. Nice physical running for Jimmy Clark. He's up over the 30, sets his offense up with some good field position as they uh, need to find some points here. You don't need all of them, but it'd be nice to get that confidence back up and get, some, get a score on this drive. Yeah, for sure. they they got to put a few plays together, and even if they don't score, they need to at least get a couple first downs and just get that rhythm back. Uh, just seems like last drive there just was not a whole lot there and um, get back to running the ball and setting up the pass. Bulldogs working in this fourth quarter. Left to right, the sun and the wind are both at their backs. As we have just a beautiful day in Adrian. Low 50s for our highs and not too many clouds up there in the sky. Jack Wurzer, the senior from Pinckney, is in the shotgun, takes the snap from Pelletier. It'll be a give to Malik Gray. Turns direction and he meets a couple Olivet defenders in the hole. They say, nice to meet you. Uh, Malik says the same and it's uh, no gain on the first down. Yeah, not a whole lot there. Good job by the Olivet front to kind of blow that play up. And Bulldogs sitting second and long. 93 and 92. That's Dennis Simmons and Jalen Rogers. Right in the middle, they're 6'3 apiece. They average 280 pounds for that Olivet interior line. Dogs look to the sideline. They have that tight trips formation to the right. Preston Smith alone to the right side. Clock moving, approaching 11.30 to go in this game. Adrian down by seven with the football. Snap. Wurzer looking for Preston Smith. He's not open. Waits, waits, throws. Is that a fumble? If so, it's picked up by Malik Ray wisely. And we'll see if it's incomplete or a fumble. No call for incomplete. We'll yeah. see what the result is as Wurzer gets up slowly. Yeah, uh, Alvet got away with a bit of a defensive hold on Gage Palace running across the middle of the field there. And I think that's where um, Wurzer wanted to go with it, but there was nothing there. He waited just a bit too long, and now we're getting a stoppage. Yeah, we need to dig deep down into the rule book because if it's a fumble, you can't advance the ball forward. So the officials will talk and both teams will take advantage of that as they get the call. We'll take a look at some of the scores in uh, Division I athletics. We'll give you some close, relatively close scores for uh, some football games. Mississippi leads Liberty 27-14. Memphis SMU tight one 28-25 in the fourth quarter. Memphis out in front. North Carolina Wake Forest. That started the fourth quarter. Wake Forest ahead in that one 48-34. Ohio State, Nebraska, 23-17. Buckeyes with the ball. Yeah, Nebraska just missed a 31-yard field goal. They missed another field goal? Yeah, so it's Ohio State ball. So Buckeyes by six. Uh, 3.30 kickoff for Notre Dame and Navy. Also in the Big Ten, Purdue hosting number three in the playoff ranking, Michigan State. That game will be at 3.30. So the play on the field was... What exactly? Well, the thing was the fumble was at the same spot, so I guess it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it so, doesn't matter. so Ray could not advance it. Yeah. So Adrian football, third and 10. They work from their own 37-yard line. Wurzer looks, looks, he's sacked. Pressure by the Comets. They get home. Jack had nowhere to go with the football, and he got buried under. Comets get off the field yet again. It's a third down stop. Great play by Alonzo Grigsby um, from Taylor as uh, he just got into the backfield and 
Wurzer just about fumbled that one as uh, he just got a, nowhere to go with it. And, uh, yeah, not a good sign for the Adrian offense on that drive. Clock rolling, 10.36 to go in this football game. Comets up seven, about to get the ball back. Here's Benke. It's blocked. Comets block it. It's picked up, and they're going to fall down just shy of the goal line as Andrew Campbell comes up with that football and disaster strikes for the Adrian special teams. Yeah, just a lot of, a lot of positives to take out of halftime into, into the third quarter, and since then it's been all Olivet just simply uh, – dominating on the defensive side of the ball and uh, a great play defensively uh, on special teams and setting themselves up for a possible another touchdown here. Set up deep inside Bulldog territory are the Comets. Mark them down at the two. So with 10.26 to go off the blocked punt, Olivet offense about the best starting field position you can get in the sport of football at your opponent's two. Trying to go up by two scores. They lead it 28-21. Just under 10 and a half to go in this football game. Barnett in at tailback. He stands offset from Coffee. Coffee, he'll get, take it himself. He'll score. Touchdown Comets. One play, two yards, six points for Olivet. And it has been a different football game in the second half, particularly this fourth quarter as a block punt turns into six points. Well, the offense playbacks, playbook's going to have to open up a bunch here as they're down by two scores now with ten and a half to play. Still plenty of time with all three timeouts, but uh, it's time to start making something happen as they've had two three and outs here uh, last two possessions and a turnover before that. Samuel Roos in for the extra point from Langsburg. He hits it right through. And a whistle, Adrian was offside on the kick. They'll decline that penalty. So it makes the score, Olivet 35, Adrian College 21. Bulldog football when we come back on the Adrian College Sports Network. College Television has the pleasure of airing all Adrian College football games this 2021 football season. And along for the ride are these wonderful sponsors, including the Adrian College Bookstore, Gurgeon Insurance Agency, Carlton Lodge, and sponsoring each week's player of the game, Hungry Howie's Pizza. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of each broadcast to see who was named Hungry Howie's player of the game. Blocked punt turns into six points for the Comets. And in the blink of an eye, it's Olivet 35, Adrian College 21. Thanks for tuning in. To Adrian College Bulldog Football, I'm Ian Went. that's Jay Hanna, bringing you through this one as the Adrian offense looking to respond. Here's a kick return chance for Adrian College. They move it up over the 30, and he slips through a tackle, and he'll finally be brought down just shy of the 34-yard line. So, Jay, when you say open up the playbook, does that mean anything? Yeah, you got you to bring some things out. That run game maybe not quite as effective Uh uh, and you don't want to run it as much because of the time. And so they're going to you gotta expect a lot of Jack Wards are throwing the ball downfield here. And uh, that's been there. They just haven't had to use it a whole lot today. First and 10 for the Adrian College offense. They place the ball at their 33-yard line. Right hash mark. This Bulldog offense looking to come alive here in the fourth quarter. 10-14 to go. Comets pinning their ears back. And this time it's a run. Give him six. As the Bulldog ball carrier follows his blockers, that's Malik Ray. He's got an equipment issue. Got to get that shoe on. There you go. Yeah, it was a good gain on first down. and That's what they need, big, strong plays on first down. Wurzer gets the snap from Pelletier. It's another run for Malik Ray. Wurzer's going to go out and block and get a block. A first down, Adrian College up at the 50-yard line, and Jack Wurzer's done that a couple times. He's handed the ball off and said, I'll go block for you too. You don't draw it up like that, but I think Wurzer sees the need and a first down for Malik Ray. Yeah, that was a good first down, and they're, like I said, there's still plenty of time. They're at midfield now, just got to get a couple scores, and we'll see how uh, – 
how they handle the rest of this drive. 50 yards to pay dirt, first and 10. Now at 9 and 20 to go in this football game. Adrian's been in this spot before, earlier this calendar year. It's another run, a draw play, looking to spring it outside. Ray cannot do it. Adrian trying to sneak some running plays behind the Olivet defensive line, and that time Olivet responds. It's a second and 10 with nine minutes to go. Yep, good, good response there from Olivet, and I think Malik Ray is a little frustrated heading to the sidelines there. There's just not a whole lot there to run on that play. Yeah, I love our running backs, but this has to be Jack Werzer time. The school's all-time leading passer. Yards, touchdowns, attempts, completions in Bulldog history. And here's a run again. Gets back to the 45. Moses trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll get a yard to the 49-yard line. You look at that clock, it's now eight minutes and 21 seconds to go in the game. Yeah, and we got third and nine now after two short runs. And so that's, again, this is four down territory here, but uh, I don't know what they're seeing if they're not trusting the passing game right now, but we'll see. Third and nine, Adrian needs the Olivet 40. Two receivers left, one right. Preston Smith to the right, Donald Scott, Gates Palace to the left. Tyler Poirier, the tight end, tight to the line on the left. Malik Ray in the shotgun with his quarterback, Jack Werzer. It's going to be a run for Ray. Werzer throws a block. Malik gets close to the line of, to gain about the 42-yard line. Gets seven or six yards. It's a fourth and one. Would be, expect to see another run here on, on fourth down. I, I wouldn't doubt it. That's three straight runs, down 14 with eight minutes to go. Yeah, in a blink of an eye, Bulldogs working this clock. It's now at 721 to play in this football game. Down 14 here at home. Fourth and two. Fourth and they call it two from the Olivet 42. They need the 40. Werzer in the shotgun. It's going to be a give. Malik Ray pushing forward. First down Bulldogs down to the Comet 35. Wow, that's a gutsy call on a fourth and one or two from the shotgun. And almost by the time Werzer handed the ball off, he was in front of Malik Ray doing some blocking out there. Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, just a great job pushing the uh, the sticks forward. And But again, <laughs> 6.50 and counting here. They're running short on time. They do have all three towns. We got Preston Smith single coverage on the near side as they start to shade it safety over there now. 6.40 to go in this football game. Werzer gets the snap. It's another run play. Trying to go middle and nothing there for Adrian College for time off the clock and a second and long. Yeah, we're approaching 625 and counting. We're slow to get back up here. And I mean, you're running at two defensive tackles that are 6'3 and they average 280. You can't really move those two around too much. Number 92 and 93 for Olivet. So here they bring in another wide receiver, Cole Sesslar. Haven't said his name too much this season, number seven. He'll be part of the three receivers to the left side. Werzer working, six minutes to go in this game. Second and nine from the Olivet 29. Down 14. Fake run to Ray. Werzer rolls out. Jack looking to throw. Can't find anyone open and throws it away. Incomplete. He may have had a receiver open on the backside of the play, but too much heat by the Comets. Yeah, he was getting too much pressure there. and. Sets up third down and long yet again here. We're under six minutes to play. Expect maybe a Preston Smith sighting or Gage Palace has been kind of the popular target on third down. Adrian needs nine yards, two plays to get it. Looking at that clock, 548, clock stops. Both teams with all three timeouts. Olivet has scored the last 14 points, actually the last 21 points. Adrian led this game 21-14. They now trail at 35-21. Jack Werzer back to throw on a third and nine. Jack rolls to the right, looking to get open. Werzer stays in bounds. He's got a Bulldog first down to the 20, down to the 15. Jack dives forward and a late hit as Jack is down inside the 15. We will check that flag and who it's on, but some magical moments from number two, Jack Werzer. Yeah, Jack just barely stayed in bounds there. He kind of got the corner and a huge play from the senior. 
uh, to extend the drive just a little bit longer. All important call. The flag is thrown right where the tackle was made at the Olivet College 13. It would be a first down for Adrian College as Werzer ran that ball for 21 yards on a third and nine. Yeah, we're going to get a full discussion here on the, on the play. As, like we said, Werzer didn't look like he had a whole lot there, just got turned on the corner, and just a big play, what you'd expect from the senior. And this all-important call, it's either – moving the ball closer to the end zone or moving this thing back. No indication yet either way. The call is blocking the back on Adrian College. And there's a holding called back behind the line of scrimmage. Olivet gladly will accept that one. Wow, that changes things a lot. As the holding penalty called on Adrian 74. That was Nate Bennett, the left tackle. So from a third and nine conversion to a first down, it will become a third and 19 from the Olivet College 44, and that is a killer penalty. Well, and they've ate up about five minutes off the clock on this drive already. And so now you're getting down to must convert time because you got to score twice. And uh, so this is a big play and I don't think you got to get all 19 yards back by any means, but they should try to at least get 10, get back yeah. to the original line of scrimmage. The Comets will use their first timeout. We'll use our 35th timeout. I don't know who's keeping track. We'll be back in 30 seconds on the Adrian College Sports Network. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. The score at Docking Stadium is Olivet 35, Adrian College 21. Off of the holding penalty for the Bulldog offensive line makes a, what would have been a third down and nine conversion, makes it a third and 19 back at the 44 yard line of Olivet. They need 19 yards for a first down. Ian Went, Jay Hanna bringing you the closing minutes of this one. We have 537 to go in it. You obviously don't need all 19 yards in one play. No, just need a positive gain and set up some. Uh, I'm sure that they talked about during that timeout what's coming after this as well. Olivet will pin their ears back on the pass rush situation. Three up by the line of scrimmage, eight back in coverage, and they jump off sides. It's a free play for Adrian. Werzer will step up, throw it deep, going for Smith. He's knocked down and the pass goes incomplete. And there is no flag on that play, and Adrian cannot believe it as Preston Smith hit the turf inside the 15, but the offside will give Adrian five, but that's a consolation prize as that would have been a 15-yard penalty against Olivet. Yeah, they must have said his feet just got tangled up or something like that, but he got knocked to the ground. and um, But they do get five yards back and, and set up a third and more manageable than it was. Makes it a third down and 14 yards to go for Adrian College. Now ball at the Olivet 39. Four receivers out for Werzer. Olivet, same defensive look, three linemen. Eight back in coverage. They rush three. Werzer has time, steps up, steps back, rolls to the left. Jack Wines fires for the end zone. He's got a man there. Yes, sir! Oh, my goodness! Touchdown, Bulldogs! Wow! Jack Werzer! What a bomb! Touchdown, AC! That is Donald Scott, senior to senior. 
Donald Scott just somehow wandered behind the Olivet secondary and was wide open because that ball was lofted in the air very far. And uh, Wurzer with a little magic here on senior day is, like I said, somehow third and 19 converted for a big bomb touchdown. And now Adrian back within a score right back in this game. And Wurzer wow. took a shot on that throw. Holy cow. As uh, just got put on the ground as soon as he threw it. The extra point all important by West. He drills it right through. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a football game at Docking Family Stadium. Adrian defense, they're getting a call. Will they answer it? We'll find out in 30 seconds here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College is a pinpoint like no other. With our 77 undergraduate degrees, 47 majors, and 21 broad fields of study, Adrian has a one-of-a-kind, hands-on learning experience for everyone. Do you want to visit the campus of Adrian College in person? Visit adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Again, that's adrian.edu forward slash campus hyphen visit. Come take in the beautiful facilities at Adrian College for yourself. A 34-yard prayer answered. Donald Scott with a deep reception from Jack Werzer on a third and 14. Puts Adrian right back in this football game. They trail the Comets, though, 35-28 here at home. 5-19 to go in this football game. Ian went Jay Hanna. We knew it would be one of those when the Bulldogs and Comets get together. Of course, the instant classic this spring on homecoming. Adrian down 18 in that contest, came back to win it. Here go the Comets on a kick return from the 15, trying to get some speed out to the edge. There's a flag down at the 19. We'll assess that one, but as it's played on the field, ball resting at the 26 for the Comets, but we'll see what that penalty is. I'll have to go back and check, but wasn't it Wurzer to Wilson on fourth and 19 or something like that against Olivet in the spring as well? We'll have to check the tape. Yeah, wasn't that the www dot or whatever he said? <laughs> oh, and yeah. I think that was, was that fourth that down. Game? Yeah, I think so. Well, regardless, what a gutsy throw by Jack Werzer and a, like you said, Jay, an absolute mollywop of a hit by the Comet defender, but Jack got that ball away just in time. Uh, the flag was waved off. So here we go. Mono e mano, Olivet, some success running the football as Barnett is in the backfield behind Coffey. Adrian shows four down linemen. It's a stretch play to the right. Barnett slips through the first wave of tacklers, but not the second as Wiseman sticks with it. Give Barnett about three on the carry. Yep, that's uh, they're going to just try to eat up some clock here under five minutes to go, and I guess the strategy to to take their time on the last drive worked out for Adrian, but now they're, their backs are against the wall a little bit. Need to get a three and out here. Try to get the ball back with all three timeouts. That would be the ideal situation. Second and six go the Comets. 4.35 to go in this football game. Olivet will run this thing all the way down. They're gonna wait for 20 seconds as the play clock just hit 20. Yeah, that's what Coach Deere was screaming at the sidelines about the play clock. I think it got started late. 4.18 to go. Beard to the tight end in motion. Coffee in the pistol. Barnett behind him. It's a give to Barnett. Left side plows his way through. He's going to be a couple yards shy of the first down. As we see Barnett lower the shoulder for the first time in a while. He's two yards short, and it's a third and two. Yes, yeah, a big, big We're about play. to see how loud the stadium can get, Jay. Yeah, it's a great crowd today, too. We haven't talked too much about that, but we see people in the pavilion, in the stands. It's a beautiful day. Folks, this could be the football game. 3.40 to go in this game. Bulldogs trail by seven. Olivetta third and two. Coffee in the pistol as Barnett behind him. Sends the tight end in motion to the right side. Snap, give Barnett. He has got it. He's got more than that. Barnett with a breakaway speed. He's down to the 40, 35, 30. Barnett could go. He's almost in, but he's out just shy. What a run by Barnett 
And that's a first and probably goal for the Comets. That's a really bad situation for Adrian because now they're in field goal range as well. They can eat up some more clock and kick the, the game-winning field goal. So um, Adrian going to have to try to force a turnover now after that big run. Clock moving, 3-10 to play in this game. It's a 35-28 score in favor of Olivet. They have the football marked right at the 10-yard line. After a third and two scamper by the tailback, Cortavion Barnett. He gets a spell as Jeremiah Sterling in at tailback. Sterling up over a defender down near the five yard line. And I believe Adrian should be getting close to calling their timeouts here. They have three left. Clock moving at 2.32. They can feel the wind just completely taken out of the of the sails of the Adrian College fan base here as 2.20 and counting. Uh, they'll be able to snap this one right around two minutes, and then it's almost must-call timeout time if, they, if they're able to get a stop. Uh, do you subscribe to the theory of just you should have let them score on first down and you get the ball back with uh, some more time? I'm not against the theory okay. for sure. Here's a run by Sterling, but before that, a flag on the play, and Olivet jumps off sides, or false start, rather. So back him up five. That'll put him at the nine-yard line. So with 2.06 to go, Comet's a little further away. And look, in the spring, they had trouble kicking in this direction. I was just going to say, <laughs> if it's not Division Three football, because kicking's not always the specialty in Division Three football, so you want to try to make kickers kick in, in Division Three, you know, uh, regardless of the situation. So if they can somehow force a field goal kick here, it's got to be a win for Adrian. 2.06 to play. Second and goal from the Adrian College nine. Jeremiah Sterling plows ahead into a sea of black and gold and red and white. But now with a minute 57, we'll have Adrian call their first timeout of this second half. So a third down and goal upcoming for the Comets. We'll take a 30 second break. Bulldogs trail by seven here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Welcome back to Docking Family Stadium. A minute 57 to go in this football game. Olivet knocking on the door with a seven point lead, 35 28, a minute 57 to go. Third and goal from the five yard line. Yeah, this is the play. I mean, you have to give your, your offense a chance, so you have to get a stop here on third down and force a field goal, and hopefully a miss or a block. Uh, it completely changes the game, but uh, still got two timeouts left, so. Uh, this is the play right here that gives your offense a chance. Cortavion Barnett back in at tailback. He got them here. It's a give to the left, right side, and he'll be met by some Bulldogs and not quite taken down, but now they get him out of bounds so Adrian can save a timeout with a minute 49. It's a fourth and goal situation for Olivet, and we should see the kicking game. That was kind of wild. They kind of forced him to the side there. They, <laughs> yep. they pushed him out, and, yeah, that's good. That's a, that's a good break for Adrian, and it also, I think, might have lost a yard, so... This is going to be a 25-yard field goal, and I think we saw him miss a, what, a 37-yard field goal earlier? Missed or an, uh, I'm, not, I'm thinking back to homecoming, but it was an extra point that was missed that gave Adrian the win. This would give Olivet a 10-point lead. It's the junior kicker, Samuel Roos. Snap, hold, kick. It is... No good, he missed it again, he missed it wide. There is life for the Bulldogs, oh my gosh. He missed the kick. Adrian football deep in their own side of the field, a minute 45 to go and I hope you didn't tune out because you knew Adrian Olivet would be a classic. 
Oh, wow. And that's why that run out of bounds was so big. They get two timeouts on this drive, tons of time, and way too early to start talking about what they do if they score. But um, just a huge play by the defense um, to get that stand. Um, and that's why you don't give up the touchdown on first down. Well, yeah, revisionist history, you know. That's wow. what we have the privilege of doing that in the booth. So. Yes. All right. Adrian's offense is in position now. First and 10, ball back at the 20-yard line. Here is Jack Werzer. He's looking left. Jack steps up, throws short, catch by Cole Seslar. First time we've called his name in a couple weeks. It's a first down to the 34. A minute 38, they stop the clock to set the chains. Yep, plenty of time here. Down by seven. Minute 34 to play, clock moving now. Four out wide, Werzer. Does he have one more drive left in him? Jack steps up, he's gonna get a couple yards, but he's gonna be wrapped up at the 38-yard yeah. line. Good timeout call there by Coach Deer. Yep, quick timeout, a minute 22 to go. Second and seven upcoming for the Bulldogs. We'll take a 30-second break. Boy, don't go away here on the Adrian College Sports Network. College Television has the pleasure of airing all Adrian College football games this 2021 football season. And along for the ride are these wonderful sponsors, including the Adrian College Bookstore, Gurgeon Insurance Agency, Carlton Lodge, and sponsoring each week's player of the game, Hungry Howie's Pizza. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of each broadcast to see who was named Hungry Howie's player of the game. Thirty-five twenty-eight Olivet College leads, but Adrian has life. A 34-yard prayer, the drive prior from Jack Werzer to Donald Scott brought them within seven. A missed field goal by Olivet gives Adrian the football. They have a second and seven at their 38-yard line. A minute 22 to go. They have one timeout left. Werzer with four out wide. Jack steps up, looks, throws short, incomplete. That's probably a good thing as Donald Scott let it hit the turf right there for the Comets, number four, the linebacker, Andrew Campbell. Yeah, this hasn't been exactly Adrian's strength so far this season. We saw them with the end of the game drive at Hanover. We've seen them at Trine, um, at Hope. Just not a whole lot of success in this two-minute offense, so they're hoping to change that uh, with this possession here in a third down and medium, but obviously four down territory. Clock stopped, a minute 18 to play in this regulation time. What does Werzer pull out of his bag of tricks now? Gets the snap. He'll survey the defense. Olivet rushes three. Werzer steps up, throws it behind his intended receiver. This is the football game now of fourth and seven as Werzer missed Palace deep down the field. Yeah, well, Jack should probably should have kept that one and ran. He had about 15 yards in front of him and he probably knows that, and but they get one more chance at it here with fourth and seven. With one timeout for Adrian, this is the football game. A minute 11 to play. Adrian needs seven yards and seven points to tie. The senior from Pinckney, Adrian's all-time leading passer, needs seven. And a whistle and a timeout will be for Olivet College. We'll keep it right here. I'd hate to put a prediction on you, Jay, but based on the way the game has gone, where's this ball going? Where's Jack looking, number one? Um, I, I got to think this is a Palace of Hoyer attempt here. They've been the two guys that have been kind of open on third down a lot. Um, I don't think they need to take a shot here, get the first down, most importantly, but... If it's anything like that last play, it may be a Jack Werzer run. The pocket's been collapsing on him. He's done a good job of stepping up in the pocket. He just hasn't tried to run a whole lot except for on that hold on that last drive. So we'll see. But uh, obviously whatever Coach Bailey's got in his uh, pocket, it's time to break it out. Fourth and seven to go at the Adrian College 38. They trail it 35 to 28. Olivet scored the first 14 points. Adrian would score the next 21. 
And Olivet would go on a stretch run to take the 35-21 lead. A recent touchdown for the Bulldog offense brought them within seven. And the offense back on the field due to an Olivet missed field goal. But this is the football game. That is then. This is now. Adrian needs seven on a fourth down. They bunch up receivers tight on the right side of the line. One receiver out wide to the left. Jack Werzer in the shotgun. Olivet will rush forward. He's got to get the ball out. Werzer steps up. He throws. Caught by Sesslar. Cuts up field. First down, Adrian. Into the Olivet side of the 50. What a big catch for number seven. First down, dogs. Just great awareness by Sesslar, too, to turn up field there. He knew he didn't have the first down yet. Huge play. And now we got, uh, now we got some fun here. One minute to play and counting. First and 10 from the Comet, 48. 54 seconds and counting. Werzer will take the snap. Stands in, feels some pressure late. He'll chuck this thing out of bounds. That's a heads up play as Olivet rushed four and they almost got home to Jack Werzer. It's a second and 10. Yeah, that, that was a great play by Werzer. He realized nothing there. He might've been able to hit Palace, but it would've been a tight squeeze and uh, nothing hurt. Uh, knows where his receivers are at, so it's not intentional grounding. Second and 10, clock is not Adrian's friend. 47.7 seconds remain. Adrian one timeout, Olivet with one as well. Just converted a fourth and seven. Three receivers spread to the left side. One to the right, that's Preston Smith. Werzer claps, takes. Olivet brings four. Werzer has time. He'll step up. He'll run. Werzer with some yardage inside the 40. He's going to try to get out of bounds, and Jack will at the Olivet 34, 33 yard line. What a heads up play by the senior QB. He got the yardage needed and he got out of bounds. Yeah, that was one of those where you give a pump fake when you're all the way, all the way downfield and can't actually pass and it worked. So he kind of gave a little fake with the ball and a, a great possession there by Werzer. And now, now the playbook starts opening up a little bit because they can't play too deep as uh, we're at the 34 yard line, 38 seconds left. Still got one timeout, but those first downs are critical. Deja vu, it's the 34 yard pass to Donald Scott that brought this game within a touchdown. They're at the 34 right now. Here's Jack with the football. He'll step up into the pocket. Werzer has to roll to the right. He'll throw on the run. It's gonna be a sliding grab at the 20. Whoa, Gage Palace. Yes, sir, at the Olivet 20. That's a 14 yard pickup and a first down. There's a flag. I don't know if he was out of bounds first there or what, but. Oh, this would be huge if that's the case. Field judge will talk to the head referee. But her hat's not off, so I don't think that he was out of bounds and then came back and illegally touched it. Oh, that's the no, call. No, that is the call. Coach Deer not happy. They said Gage Palace went out of bounds and was the first one to touch the ball. And whatever explanation Coach Deer gets, it will not be good enough. Yeah, I, I'd have to see it again. Um, but I don't know if he got pushed out of bounds or not because if you get pushed out, it's a different story if you would just go out on your own power there. And so that's a gigantic call because the loss of down as well. So now we get second and 10. From the Comet 34, 31.8 to go. No 10-second runoff because the play was started when the clock stopped. Here we go, Werzer. In the gun, has four receivers in the pattern. Malik Ray stays in the block. Werzer feeling the heat, throws middle of the field, caught. This is Donald Scott at the 19, pushed back to the 22. That's an Adrian first down as the senior makes another good grab. 23.5 to go, the chains will set, then the clock will start again. Yeah, they did a good job getting Wurzer's to the line. Come up and spike this as soon as they get the ball. That is the case. About half a second off the clock. So 23 seconds on the game clock. Football placed at the 22-yard line of Olivet College. Adrian needs seven to tie. Yeah, just a strike there from Werzer to Scott. and Huge play. And, again, they still have that one timeout left. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they call here. They have 22 yards to go uh, to tie this game or potentially go for the win. Just about every corner and safety on the Olivet roster is on the field right now. They will rush four. Adrian, four receivers, three left, one right. Malik Ray, the tailback with Werzer. Pelletier calls out the offensive blocking assignments. 
You would assume Malik Ray stays in to block. He will. Werzer looking, throwing, middle, tipped and incomplete. Going for Seslar again. He caught the big fourth down conversion, but no such luck on second down. And with the spike, it's now third and 10 at the 22. Yeah, that's what I was going to say with that spike. That's why that's so huge as you lose a down when you have to do it. But third down and 10. Still got two plays here to get a first down, and you still have one timeout to play with. So this is, uh, this is a big play here. If you can get to the sticks, you save that timeout, and you have time to draw up maybe two more plays with 19 seconds to play. Big-time players make big-time plays. 18.9 to go in this football game. Werzer will get the snap. Third and 10 for Jack. He'll look, throw middle. It's high and incomplete. Going for number seven, Seslar again, and we have another fourth down situation. Fourth and 10, they need the 12. Football at the 22. Yeah, big play here. Uh, I think you gotta save the timeout just in case you get a completion, uh, which kind of limits their options offensively. Um, and uh, I think you go for, you might almost go for the end zone here, but um, if you do call timeout, you have to go for the end zone. Fourth and 10. They've converted a fourth and seven earlier on this drive. 14.3 to go in the game. That does not matter. Adrian trails by seven, 35-28. There's only ten sec seven seconds on the play clock. They're at the Olivet 22. Werzer with two on the play clock. He'll take it. This is the football game. Jack steps up, throws, incomplete. Oh, he had Scott at the three. Oh. Dejected at the two is the senior Donald Scott as he laid out. He had a play on the football. And Olivet will take over. Yeah, had him, had an open completion there. It's definitely disappointing, obviously, for, for Adrian College. It was a great drive down the field, and uh Wurzer's gonna want that one back is just a little wide. I don't know if it was on the route on the route or on the throw, but just a little wide, and uh, unfortunately, Adrian College gonna suffer that that final home loss and the first time all afternoon coffee takes a snap under center that's for victory formation and the comets storm into adrian and get the seven point victory 35 28 over the adrian college bulldogs what a valiant effort by this squad at playing their final home game of this 2021 season We'll take a 60 second timeout. Post game show when we come back, Bulldogs fall 35 28 on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College has once again found itself on the 2022 U.S. News and World Report Best College Rankings. This is the eighth straight year that Adrian has been named to the top regional colleges Midwest section. Adrian College was also named the most innovative school in the regional colleges Midwest category. In addition, Adrian received accolades and best value in undergraduate teaching within regional colleges Midwest. Adrian College was also named in the top first year experiences by U.S. News and World Report. This marks the 13th consecutive year that Adrian has appeared in U.S. News and World Report. To see the full rankings, visit their website. For more information on Adrian College, visit Adrian. Edu. Welcome back to Docking Stadium on the campus of Adrian College, the post-game show from another classic between the Olivet College Comets and your Adrian College Bulldogs. Dogs on the short end of a 35-28 final score with opportunities late in the football game. A last effort by the offense, not quite enough. Ian Wendt, Jay Hanna here with the post-game show. I don't know if you can summarize this game in 30 seconds, but, I mean, my goodness, what a football game. Uh, it was a fun football game, just like we expected. Um, unfortunately, Adrian just kind of dug themselves too big of a hole to come back from. We talked a lot about that drive. Um, that eventually led to the touchdown and ate up so much clock. But they had they gave themselves every opportunity to win, and they were literally were probably two inches uh, away from that catch from Donald Scott. And just, uh, yeah, the, that's one that 
Coach Deer and the rest of the coaching staff will go back and watch film and realize that they, they should have had that one. Absolutely, and give credit to the Comets. They got up early, 14-0, and they weathered a Bulldog storm. It was 21-14 shortly after halftime, and then the Comets go on a 21-0 uh, run to go up 35-21, and um, you know, give the Bulldogs credit then. They come back and score on a 35-yard touchdown pass to Donald Scott to make it a seven-point contest. Olivet marches down and goes for a field goal attempt. They miss it. Gives Adrian a chance. They drive it all the way down into the Comet red zone or just outside of it, and they can't get the job done as they fall 35 to 28. Yeah, 287 rushing yards they gave up, and that's the story right there. I mean, if we could give away an MVP to Olivet, it's definitely got to be there at running back. Cortavion Barnett just had himself a day, including the run that set up the missed field goal at the end. Absolutely, and Jay and I will uh, have more with our post-game show, and later on we'll pick our player of the game. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're tuned in to Bulldog Football on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24-hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television. Welcome back on the Adrian College Sports Network. You see the final score, 35 for the Comets, 28 for the Bulldogs. They were 22 yards away from potentially tying or potentially winning this football game. Couldn't get it done late down the stretch. Ian went Jay Hanna with you on the Adrian College Sports Network. Looking at some of the standout performers for the Adrian College Bulldogs, you have Jack Werzer. He was 17 of 30 for 257 yards, three touchdowns in this contest along of 54. Gage Palace caught five passes for 80 yards in the score. Donald Scott, four catches, 74 yards, a touchdown. And Preston Smith, just two catches today for 38 yards. One of them would go for a touchdown. Leading the way at running back, good afternoon for Malik Ray. Uh, he did not score, but he had 114 net yards for him, 6.7 yard average for the Bulldog tailback. Jay and I will decide the player of the game. We'll be back with that selection right after this timeout on the Adrian College Sports Network. Adrian College Television has the pleasure of airing all Adrian College football games this 2021 football season. And along for the ride are these wonderful sponsors, including the Adrian College Bookstore, Gurgeon Insurance Agency, Carlton Lodge, and sponsoring each week's player of the game, Hungry Howie's Pizza. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of each broadcast to see who was named Hungry Howie's player of the game. Welcome back on the Adrian College Sports Network, a 35-28 final in favor of the visiting Olivet College Comets. Adrian falls on the year to four and five. They drop to two and three in the MIAA. Olivet improves to six and three. Looking at the uh, stat getters for the Bulldogs, I uh, sort of broke it down during the break, and I'm going to give it to a senior, the senior from Hudson, the tailback, Malik Ray, as he gave a spark to this Adrian College offense. He held on to the football and uh, had a really good game. Uh, 114 yards net rushing for Malik. Even though we didn't score, he gave some uh, stability and depth and you know, some positivity from the Bulldog backfield. Yeah, and he held on to the ball. He, he played very well today. Great job in the backfield, and uh, I know the Bulldogs won in this one, but can go out and win next week and go 500 and, uh, you know, build from there. Um, unfortunately, this strong senior class wanted, would like to see them going out with a win at home. Absolutely. We'll take a 30-second break. We'll look forward to week 10 as Jay and I hit the road once again. Is it my turn for the playlist, or is it your turn? Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you were thinking too hard for that one. I was. 35-28 the final. We'll be back right after this on the Adrian College Sports Network. 
Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Welcome back to the post-game show here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Ian went Jay Hanna putting a bow on this one, and it was a tough pill to swallow for the Bulldogs as they dropped this one at home 35-28. And uh, looking ahead to next week as these Bulldogs hit the road trying to even their record both in the league and overall the 5-5, five and 3-3 five, uh, three and three, uh, respectively. Looking kind of the comments, a game that on paper they should win. They'll have to really bounce back after two just really difficult losses to hope two weeks ago and here to Olivet. Yeah, for sure. And, um, yeah, they definitely – it's definitely a game they should win. Um, you know, any game in the MIAA on the road is never easy. But um, they're going to Kalamazoo and still have some, some pride to play for. Olivet, meanwhile, gets to play Finlandia to end their season. So um, both of these two teams should go out uh, with victory. But just a – Big time performance from Olivet coming over here and getting a win. I'm sure that they were a little upset with how the spring game went. And, uh, yeah, the Bulldogs uh, have some things to work on uh, before they wrap up the season next week in Kalamazoo. That's going to do it from us here in the booth for all the Bulldog fans out there. For our great crew here at the stadium, headed up by Matt Kibbe and uh, Laura Witkowski back in the WLEN studios in downtown Adrian. For... Jay Hanna up here in the booth. I'm Ian Wendt. We'll see you all next week in Kalamazoo. Once again, the final score from Adrian College. It's Olivet 35, Bulldogs 28. Have yourselves a great weekend. Bulldog fans connect with Adrian College TV on social media to be updated when we're broadcasting live, to see highlights, plays of the week, and much more. Adrian College Television is on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. ACTV's handle is at Adrian College TV on every form of social media. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing to the home of the Bulldogs, Adrian College TV. Welcome to Adrian, Michigan. We're located in a proud college town. Adrian College is situated just 45 minutes from Ann Arbor, Detroit, and Toledo. We're very excited to show you just a little bit of what AC has to offer. This is the gateway to our campus. Welcome to the place that we believe will change the rest of your life. AC features one of the most well-rounded educational experiences in the country. We offer over 60 different academic majors and 10 academic institutes, as well as dozens of student organizations. Year after year, we've been ranked as one of the nation's best colleges, including being one of the most innovative institutions in the U.S. for our medical programs. Our campus is simply beautiful. Our student-to-faculty ratio is an incredible 13 to 1. That means more attention for you and a much better overall learning environment. We know how to put together an education that is life-changing. And these are just some of the highlights. From our communication arts program, to our many performing arts, to the home of business on campus, to our sciences and medical studies, we have the spaces where you can grow into the professional that you want to become. Our first year student experience is award-winning. You'll make lifelong friends here, meet mentors, and maybe even meet that special someone. The Kane Student Center is open 24 hours a day, and there's a lot going on here. The Bulldog Beanery has all of your hot drinks. Pause and Go is our on-campus convenience store. The bookstore is where you'll get all of your Bulldog gear, and you can just hang out and study in the sky boxes. Not far away is the Shipman Library. The Shipman has quiet, relaxing spaces for you to study in. 
You can check out books from thousands of libraries around the country, and the shipment is open 24 hours as well for your convenience. There are hundreds of learning opportunities on campus. In addition to the arts and beautiful facilities, Adrian College is known for its athletic programs. There is nothing like a Saturday game day here in Adrian. The Bulldog football team are 11-time MIAA champions. At Docking Stadium, fans watch soccer, lacrosse, football, and more. Just a few hundred yards away, Adrian College's basketball teams compete. In addition to basketball, fans can enjoy wrestling, acro and tumbling, and volleyball here. We also have a state-of-the-art weight room available to all of our students. When things heat up too much on campus, you can cool off with our ice sports. Our NCAA ice hockey teams are constantly battling in the national playoffs. Just a quick walk down the service drive, we feature one of the best baseball and softball programs in the nation at our level. Soon you'll be able to cross the street and watch men's and women's rugby take to the pitch as well. Our rowing, crew, and top-ranked bass fishing programs compete out of the Adrian College Boathouse, a gorgeous facility, just a 15-minute drive north on Devil's Lake. Our students know how to relax in their downtime. When they're not out and about, we have dozens of housing options on campus. With apartments right in the mix of things, you can pick what works best for you. We've also recently renovated a few of our housing options. Adrian College is a Methodist affiliated institution that has been changing lives since 1859. The modern liberal arts education offered by our faculty is unrivaled. We can't wait to have you on campus and show you around. Visit adrian.edu to schedule a full campus visit today. We'll see you soon. Adrian College Television would like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Carlton Lodge of Adrian. Carlton Lodge is sponsoring all ACTV broadcasts during the 2021 to 2022 school year. Located at 1629 West Maumee and Adrian, Carlton Lodge offers comfortable rooms and suites at affordable rates. There's also a heated indoor and outdoor pool along with a 24-hour fitness center. Thank you for the continued support toward Adrian College Television.